Tum tum tum. Hey everyone. Hola, Danielita. Hola, Nicolito. How are you? ¿Cómo estás, Danielita? I'm How good. are you? Good, good, fine, fine. Good, good, fine, fine. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. I'm pretty good, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, no, uh, today, uh, yeah. Danielita Linda. Tell me. Uh, we're going to do, I wanted to do something uh, kind of anchored in the exercise that we did last week where we painted a high key painting. Okay. Do you remember yeah. that one? The, the portrait that, yeah, blah, 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 blah. The uh, portrait that of I did of you. Mine, yeah. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to do part of the painting in a higher key, like part of a painting, like areas of the painting in a higher key, which means that it's going to be a really uh, compressed value scale, heavily leaning towards the lighter side. Mm -hmm. And then parts of the other, and then parts of the same painting having the broadest range of, um, of values. Ooh, that sounds cool. Yeah, it sounds cool, but it can be very tricky, I feel. Well, mm. It doesn't sound easy. Yeah, so. I don't even... I, I mean, I kind of picture it in my head. Um, I'm going to try to push it. But, yeah, it, but, you know, it may not work, which mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say, I guess. Uh, but I want to see if it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason I guess it wouldn't work is that usually a painting is um, at its strongest, I guess. I mean, this is not a rule, but usually... When there's like a, a set of rules that governs the whole painting. Mm -hmm. And it's super clear when you're an observer um, that like you're able to identify those rules yeah. very easily. Very, very easily. And you're like, okay, this is like, these are the rules by which we are playing. Mm -hmm. And and you, as again, as an observer, you subject yourself to them and, and you kind of convince yourself, okay, this is how this painting works or this is how this image works and I am in for the ride. Like, mm -hmm. I'm totally on board. I can play this game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, while that is not like a... That's not an obligation that a painting has or that an image has because there are images that are super eclectic, yeah. you know, throughout art history. Um I do believe that it lends to uh, a feeling of something being incredibly solid, like mm -hmm. very, very solid. And like easier to read, maybe? Right. Like to comprehend? Yeah, yeah. And, and I guess what you're saying could be interpreted as um, when, when we could define something as being hard to read, it's, um, it's, we could say that it's something that inspires doubt. Like mm -hmm. you don't really know, you know, why some things are working in one sense and why other things like don't kind of like don't follow those rules. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the tough part here is like it's not as if this is weird in a painting. Ma in many paintings, there are areas of the painting that will follow like a compressed value scale. Yeah. And there are other areas that take advantage of like the full range of, of um, contrast in, in terms of value. Mm -hmm. That is super Super, super traditional. Uh, for example, backgrounds in, in high Renaissance or in Baroque paintings, they're super controlled, very, very controlled in terms of their value. And then while things in the foreground um, have, you know, the, the, the painter is usually taking advantage of every single, you know, uh, value that, that, um, that they have at their disposal. So... Um, You know, in that sense, it's not weird, but we're going to try to do it. We're not going to try to do it saying that's background, that's foreground. Mm -hmm, but everywhere. But yeah, we're going to try to do it in a figure. Okay. So so that's where it's kind of weird mm -hmm. because, you know, the eye is going to bounce, you know, all like all throughout the figure. And it's, you know, if you really think about it, it's not really going to know what to look at because mm -hmm. there are... Now that I'm looking at Fer's reference, which, by the way, she had like um, she was celebrating um, the um, the uh, Venice Carnival because her school is Italian. So they do those sort of things. So she was going in like full medi medieval attire. It, it's almost like a Renaissance fair, what she was going, you know, as. Um, but she looked great. And I took a picture this morning. Um, 
And uh, but what I'm thinking is there's going to be areas of the painting that are going to have this contrast. It's uh, it's going to be inevitable that some of the areas that I want to do in a um, in the uh, lighter that I want to accommodate to the lighter um, range of the value scale, the lar- uh, that those are going to come in contact with very dark areas. Mm-hmm. And what that does is that your eye is going to immediately go to that, to those super high contrast places mm-hmm. and it's going to want to stay there. So mm-hmm. in a way we're going to have like the, the um, portrait and, and the um, I think the, sh- her shirt, competing in her arms you know competing with those moments of contrast okay. and i think that's going to be weird but i want to see how it looks i think it's interesting yeah Super i want to see how it looks so i kind of want to go through that and see and see if that's something that we can pull off uh since that's all we want to work with i don't really want to work on tons of things like tons of weird things in terms of um hues or color we're going to do a um a Zorn palette. Okay. Because I don't care about the redness of the uh, dress or I don't care about the yellowness of the light. Mm-hmm. So hues right now are not really super important for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could do this exercise in black and white, like Fulger's eye, mm-hmm. and it would be essentially the same exercise because what I'm trying to look for is not something that depends on color. Like what interests me most is not something that depends on color. So that's that's actually super cool because... That kind of tells you that many times in paintings, you have to identify what you're trying to do and realize, okay, do I really need to pull out this like super high chroma green for this? If I'm not really saying anything with that green, like I'm using it just because it's in my palette, but I'm not really like what I'm trying to say is completely not dependent on the chroma of that green. So I'm not saying you couldn't use that particular green, but I'm saying like you could at least reflect if it's um, important to use it or not. Mm -hmm. So today I think it's not important. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in order for me to just concentrate on that value um, and still, you know, still say redness and yellowness and coolness and warmness, I'm going to stick with uh, Zorn palette. I think it's um, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to scribble the drawing a little bit. Just so that I have a base as to what I need to do, mm-hmm. um, I want to see if I can get the uh, the whole figure. So let's see if we can do that. Hola Juan Fesit, que nos estaba saludando. Buenas Hola, tardes. Eh, Hola Margo. También. Hola Margo. Eh, Lu Andino dice: Hola Daniela y Nicolás, qué bella referencia. Sí, la Está muy chévere, sí. Eh, Juan Cueva said, awesome, hello. Uh, Roslyn said, hello, OPL in chat. Hi, Roslyn. Hey, Roslyn. Rohit Kim Havi said, hello. Grace and Joy say, hello. Um, Wishlist011 said, hi, hi, folks. Love the lighting up from above. Oh, yeah, that's one of, that's not even lighting. That's one of our, um, I mean, yeah, it's this the light from our apartment. Like They're like lights, spots. Little, yeah. you know, those tiny little uh, LED right. lights, I guess. Halogen, yeah. uh, they were halogen bulbs. And we we changed some of them for LEDs so that it's um, less expensive. But they're um, like spots. Yeah, they're little spotlights. You yeah. know, they're, they're one, there's some of those little lights that you can kind of move around. Yeah. Alejandro Germánico Benito González dice, mm. hola, la referencia promete un bello resultado. No, pero no me, no me pongan <laughs> esa presión. Yo no puedo con eso. Robin said hello. Hi, hey, Robin. Robin. Eh, Bruce Jiménez Peña dice hola. Y Andrés Gómez dice hola, Dani Nico. Y Ariel Hernández dice hola para todos. Hola, Bruce, Andrés y Ariel. ¿Cómo están? So I'm trying to um, figure out placement because this is really a a pretty much like a a vertical amongst a vertical plane. Like so, there's a lot of stuff happening here that I have to fill with atmosphere, but I don't want it to feel empty. So I'm I'm wondering because I, I I I think I'm fine with these proportions. I think so at least. Or it could be a tiny bit smaller, maybe. 
But I'm wondering if I should push Fed um, to the right because I think that's uh, that's it makes a like for a better image. I know that's going to be ton of space here, but I think we as as Westerners um, specifically, we tend to have like this this um, ingrained idea of reading anything left to right, mm -hmm. left to right up um, and from top up to, to bottom. Down, yeah. yeah. So. So we, we don't mind if we have to traverse like a ton of space to reach something that's on the far right. We totally don't, don't mind that. Uh, we could do, I could do a painting that like long. Yeah. And just do any, anything here and in here I just put something. Yeah. And that's a painting. And even in the lower corner. Yeah, that's a paint. That's, yeah. we, we like viewers could be here. Like these could be people, and they would make this like traversal. They, yeah. they, like we as as again we as Westerners particularly, we would be completely fine with doing this. Like we we know that if we start here, there's a road that would lead somewhere. We can kind of like intuitively say that. Um, I can't think of pieces that are exactly like this. But it will work for yeah. sure. A hundred percent will work. So, um, yeah. So I'm gonna push her, but I don't want to draw it again. So I, I kind of already know what I want to do. Uh, I'm gonna tilt the head. I don't know if you saw that, but I did that angle on mm -hmm. the uh, portrait. It's slightly there. You can kind of tell that that it's slightly there. I, I, I'm gonna say it's probably more like that. But I think it's um, it's a nice tilt because then I can you know kind of have kind of play off the. Um, the um th that swoop of the neck and then pushing the head to the side. So I'm gonna make it a little more dramatic, but that's that's a choice, I guess. So let's start with the um, let's start with the important stuff, I guess, which is trying to establish very very quickly. And this is me, so I try to get that stuff super quickly down so I can see my painting, because I don't want surprises. I really really don't want to you know be an hour two hours into a painting and, and then step back and say, oh, that doesn't work. No, no, no. I need to see it in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I need to know if what I'm going for can work. Or, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to show me everything, but it has to tell me, okay, these are the things, like it can work, but you should be careful and you should try to deal with these particular things. Like these are the things that are going to be... Um, obstacles that you have to uh, surpass during this painting session. So that's what I'm going to go for. So let's let's do that. And I want to make it super, super clear. And the way, well, that was terrible. Because <laughs> I'm saying I'm, I'm going to make it super clear. And, then, and I paint this, the exact same color that um, that's the paper. <laughs> or at least like value yeah. in terms of value. So that was, <clears throat> that was stupid. But... I need paint there, so I'm gonna use this this bunch of paint to remind myself, maybe lighter even, and I'm gonna use a lot of it. I, I just need to know that if I work into this light, the, uh, the paint that I have there is going to affect um, whatever I put on top. So that way I can physically, and I think we talked about this um, in some other painting, but I'm, I'm physically almost like obligating myself to, um, to remain in this value range, in this very specific value range. Mm -hmm. So that would be good. So this one's going to look a little, the start, do you remember the um, painting that I did of you in the hallway? Y which one? The one that you were wearing, your uh, jacket. Yep. Yeah, so this one, like at the beginning, it's going to behave a little bit like the that. Building. We're gonna, yeah, the we're going to kind of, yeah you know model this painting really uh -huh. with color just putting blobs of color and then eventually just you know giving it shape okay that's gonna be the plan at least we hope <laughs> um cody winnie was saying hey everyone hey Hi, cody. cody jesus de la osa dice hola buen inicio de mes con esa referencia increíble no pero ya andrés, todo el mundo no mira andrés gómez dice coincido en que la referencia está hermosa pero entre muchas otras cosas, en este canal siempre se llega a bellas imágenes sin importar el punto de Muy partida. Grande Andrés. Andrés se merece un buñuelo. 
Eh, Iván Sánchez dice, buenas, estoy pintando algo que creo que le gustaría a Nicolás y en papel. Uy, ¿qué será, Iván? No me, no me dé pistas, me, me va a contar. O deme pistas. Un Lucho Díaz. Deme pistas y, y me va dando como opciones de tratar de adivinar. Grace and Joyce said, the painting I bought, Jean, arrived. Oh, that's it's, so awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. I love being able to see the work in real life. That's... Makes m such a difference. I love it so much, trying to decide on the framing now. Oh, very postery. Like, if I could suggest something, I, I seldom say this. Like, for example, with Rosalind that's here. Um, I don't even think Rosalind asked for a suggestion. She just no. kind of, like, showed us how she was... Um, Framing. How she decided yeah. to, to, to display them, to I would display. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Rosalind's choice was to be very... Uh, it's almost like in accordance with the uh, nature of the painting. So... Yeah, you know, th this is very makeshift, and she, she did, like, a makeshift kind of space for that, and I think it looks great. Uh, we've seen other people, like, put, like, these weird vintage frames or, or like, frames that they make like from, like, metal frames. stuff. Yeah, really. I I think we've seen uh, the paintings displayed in so many ways. Yeah, and, and like, they all professionally awesome. yeah. framed everything. Yeah, they. I think they all look awesome. Yeah. I, I, I think both Danny and myself have a blast. Um Uh, seeing how how people like to display the work that that we um, that we send them, yeah, um, and it's cool to see them in their new house, like yeah. inhabiting oh, a completely yeah, different spaces? space. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, super yeah. cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I think Jeff Bar Jeff Barnes, he um, he put a, a photo a, a couple of days ago, maybe uh, yesterday or a couple of days ago, and I think he's ha he has a couple of our paintings, and he also has a Samantha Herring. Um, like a bag, mm -hmm. was it? Or, or like a cardboard? Yeah. I mean, Samantha's like incredible. She yeah. blows my mind. Like her pastels. Oh my yeah. God. My God, she's good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. she, I'm going to tell you, Danny, she killed like the, the, um, the love that I have for You're painting bags. bags. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. She's so good at it yeah. that I'm like, I think that's her thing. I just, I really don't. I, I shouldn't. I'm not, <laughs> but, but no, no, no I, I'm, I'm exaggerating. Yeah, but, yeah. No, but, but I get that, what you say because she's, she's so, so, so good. She's so, so good. Yeah. It's, a, it's like she was meant yeah, I was to gonna paint say that, that subject like, matter. That subject matters look like they were meant for being yeah. painted by her. Oh, yeah. It's they were placed amazing. on this earth so that she could paint them. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, so, yeah, so. In, it, w with the with the one you got, the one of uh, Du Buffet, I don't know why I felt it was very postery. Because it's it very, also very the dim dimensions. Yeah, yeah, but it's like having it. It feels like, like a poster. Couldn't you imagine that? Like when they blow up a poster and they, it just hangs like in front of a theater, like an old theater, mm -hmm. and and it's just like a play. You're, you're going to like some opera or some play and. I don't know. It has that feel to it, which I very rarely. I mean, I'm not s making it sound like it's grander that, than than it is. It's it's a painting, but there was something to it. There was something very kind of raw and like um, just super super powerful, like a message that is um, communicated very quickly. It's almost like a um, a, a telegram or something mm -hmm. like that, or, or like uh, smoke signals. Mm -hmm. um, it's it felt like that. I don't know. It's kind of weird for me to talk about my own paintings, but I I, I felt like that with with that particular painting. Yeah, so. but I want to know, uh, Grayson, what what have you thought about ideas of framing it or like displaying it? And it and you they have don't have to do anything mind? with what I've been saying. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You no, do whatever you want. No, I'm just curious to know if maybe they have something in mind. Mm. Eh, Cacaito Pelón dice Oye, Hello Dani Coco. Chacarita Rodríguez <ríe> eh, Emi Cianuro dice Hola, ¿cómo andan? ¿De Todo qué es la gorra de Nicolás? Es, es de una, una Bearcliff, no sé qué es eso Una que venden en Una gorra de falabela <ríe> Una de falabela Sí, sí. una gorra que no sé qué estábamos haciendo y creo que tenía como algo. No, yo sí me acuerdo. Tú, a ver, entonces... Eh, estaba tú lloviendo ¿Sí? en Unicentro. Sí. No, pues no en Unicentro, estaba sí, lloviendo. Es un problema más grande. Sí. <risa> y nosotros estábamos en Unicentro tratando de escampar y eh, por alguna razón miramos ¿Tú usas maletas. así escampar? 
Escampar, sí. Esperando a que escampara, yo diría. No, estábamos escampando. Ah, tú lo usas como nosotros estamos escampando. Sí. ¿Sí? No, yo lo uso Vamos distinto. a escampar de la lluvia. Yo digo, voy a esperar a que escampe. O sea, la lluvia ah, es la que escampa, no uno. No, uno está escampando. ¿Sí? Sí. No, no sé, ¿ves? No, todo bien. Bueno, estábamos escampando. <risa> <risa> eh, y entramos a Falabella. Sí. Y acuérdate que yo te dije que de pronto quería cambiar la maleta. Que aprovecháramos no. y miráramos para maletas. No, pero nada de esto me acuerdo. Y eh, pero terminamos toca viendo dos sí. eh, cachuchas, gorras, sí. no sé cómo. Bueno, cualquiera de las dos suena mal en otro país, entonces. No, no sé. pero que no moleste. Eh, sombrero de... No, vamos, de béisbol. Con visera, <risa> no sé. <risa> eh, y vimos esa y otra, la azul, que tiene azul y ¿La blanco. ¿La del carrito? Uh -huh. mm. Y conseguimos esas... Estaban como en descuento o algo, sí, estaban Sí, 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 estaban en descuento, pero es que estaban en... Me acuerdo que estaban en una pared donde estaban las maletas sí. y las cachuchas. Sí, las gorras. O las... Pero gorro no tiene... ¿Gorro? ¿Gorra? Sí, es... ¿Gorro en otro país sí. significa algo malo? Sí. No. ¿Gorro? Pues no malo, o sea, cachucha no es algo malo, pero... ¿Cachucha sí? Pues... No, es... chaqueta es que es... Yo no sé. Sí, chaqueta, chaqueta. Eh... Chaqueta en México es otra cosa. Espérate. Bueno, el caso es que... Eh, espera. Estoy ya esperando, tranqui. No, estaba buscando lo de gorra, pero no sé. Eh, el caso es mm -hmm. que... Sí, señora. No compré la maleta porque no me gustó ninguna maleta. Y vimos las cachuchas. Y tú compraste las cachuchas. Sí. Y... Y son re ya. X. Pero no la verdad son marca. buenísimas. Pues a mí sí. me parecen lo máximo. Tienen porque mallita. son es Sí, que eso te iba a decir. Yo como soy calvo... Porque para los viajes... Sí. Eso tiene para respirar. Cuando, mm. cuando las cachuchas tienen como sólida la tela... Uy. O sea, cuando no es malla y uno está en tierra caliente... No, y yo... O acá. Bueno, tú que, por ejemplo, tienes mucho pelo. Sí. No, pero nomás yo te decía con el gorrito que yo tengo, el bucket hat ese sí. que es de cuero, ah, el no, verde... Eso, no, eso sí. Salí en estos días para hacer los envíos... Sí... Y no estaba haciendo mucho calor. Sí. Estaba haciendo como solecito. Sí. Y llegué... Mueres? No, o sea, me sudó la cabeza. <ríe> como si sí. la hubiera metido a un horno. Sí, no, Eso no, no. fue... No, yo no, yo... Yo salgo con un gorro de esos y de una vez que me pongan como una manzana en la boca, como un lechón. O sea, que me cocinen. Sí, no sé, no sé para dónde iba, pero... No tiene nada de sentido, Que me pero... cocinen porque ya yo no puedo. Yo sí, soy, pero... Yo como soy así todo blanquito... Yo vengo con toda la genética de la gente así blanca, semi-ginger, que es que me da calor todo... O sea, yo ando caliente todo el tiempo. Lo, yo soy rara porque yo... Me, a mí me da calor, uh -huh. pero siempre mis manos y mis pies están fríos. Sí, tus Nicolás pies puede dar una risa. cosa de ultratumba. Pero a mí me gusta. O sea, yo no puedo... A mí puedo, no. Yo no, no me toques puedo, con eso. Como, digamos, dormir con medias, nunca. Horroroso, sí, o sea, los pies sí. tienen que estar fríos. Si se me calientan los pies, no. me dan pesadillas, sudo de noche, no. no, horrible. Tienen que estar fríos. Sí, pero me sometes a mí a, a ese frío. No, lo que pasa es que tú eres un horno. O no. sea, tú te acuestas en la cama sí, joder, y madre. eres. Yo un día quiero como probar. 40 como, grados más altos. Como que acostarme yo. Y, y ponerme como que romper un huevo encima, encima mío. Exacto. Yo creo que se demora. Pero, pero algo... A los 40 minutos hay un huevo tibio. <risa> no, asco. pero... Pero sí, tú eres muy caliente. Sí. Yo en cambio... Qué vaina. Qué vaina. Sí, no. Yo en cambio no me chévere. tengo que meter a la cama. Eso no es chévere. Y ya sé que mi rutina es que tengo que esperar mucho a que mi cuerpo tome una temperatura un poquito más caliente. Horrible. Porque me dio rozo a Nicolás y es... <risa> No, horrible, Entonces... horrible. No, no, Me no. toca. Qué desgracia tan infinita. <ríe> eh... A ver, Luandino dice cachucha en Argentina es la parte íntima femenina. Ah, y bueno. se dice visera porque gorra es lunfardo. ¿Qué? Para decir policía. Ah, bueno. <ríe> sí, por eso o sea... te dije. Con cachucha, gorra, todo es... Y visera, pues, o sea, yo dije... 
las tres y las tres significan algo distinto en otro lado. Eh... Uy, sí, no. Me cambias la cachucha por la gorra. Eso debe sonar muy raro. Sí. Allá. Pero creo que es que sí, yo sí había oído de cachucha porque había oído la historia. Creo que fue un profesor en el colegio que nos contó como que... Cuando estuvo un tiempo en Argentina, ¿sí fue un profesor en el colegio? No sé, tú empezaste la historia. Una persona, así. me acuerdo que contó. <risa> es que no me acuerdo me quién fue. Fue un TikTok ayer, la verdad, <risa> qué pena. No, que estaba en Argentina y como que había hecho un comentario como ¡Ay, qué linda cachucha! Y que todo el mundo... O sea, que después tuvo que explicar por qué había dicho eso. Sí, Porque, por degenerado. Pues sí, la gente empezó a decir, este tipo, ¿qué le pasa? colombiano, por Irrespetuoso. <risa> um, Grace and Joyce said, It is very poster-like. I don't know anything about framing, but I kind of wanted to do a floating frame. Awesome. I really want to be able to see the full painting, including the edges of the paper. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm also 100% open to any suggestions on framing. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, you know what? Can I tell you like the best um, advice that I could give you? It is your painting. Yeah. And it is your home. How you... And you frame... Like think how you want to see you it. You frame, you know, your art however the hell you want to frame it. Yeah. Because you're the one who has to live with it and has to interact with it. And there is no proper ways of framing something. You could pin it to the wall. You could tape it to the wall. You could do anything. You, you could put some kneaded eraser and just like, you know, plug it to the wall. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Like You this can is have it even like in a drawer. Like. Oh, yeah. And pull it out whenever you want. you want to have it. Yeah. I mean, what makes what what fits you? What makes you happy is the best way. Roslyn said, mine are up because I couldn't wait for a framer. They are so busy here always. I love to look at them. The paintings are going on, going in soon together. And I'm making a plan, fingers crossed. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah. You have to show us. But let well, us know and also, when Grayson, um, when you have it uh, displayed, if you want to have it displayed, maybe you can send us a... Uh, picture, because we really love seeing the new houses of the paintings. Super cool. Emphasis on houses for Danny. On houses. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> emphasis for you. It's like, oh, look at that apartment. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, David Rodríguez dice, Nicolás, ¿tú si mides algo cuando usas referencia o simplemente pintas con lo que se siente que está bien? Con lo que sientes que está bien. Parte y parte, ¿no? Yo soy medio... Sí. Pero medir, medir, no. No, medir nunca. O sea, igual yo creo que uno siempre mide... Pues mido con los brochazos que hago. Hmm. Con todas las... O sea, es que uno no tiene que medir con el lápiz. Hmm. Yo empecé midiendo así, a mí me enseñaban así. Porque es la manera más objetiva de decirle a uno... Me acuerdo que mi profe, si lo veía uno atascado y le decía... No, ese brazo está muy largo. Venga, nos sentamos y medimos Compare. para que usted se dé sí. cuenta que está muy largo. Entonces, medir se me hace una herramienta académica increíble. Uh -huh. Increíble. O sea... Pero yo creo que el dibujo es otra cosa. Porque si fuera de medir, pues para ese caso, hágale una retícula a lo que va a ver y, y pásela. ¿Sí me entiende? Como que si uno se va a ayudar con medir, pues de una vez ayúdese con una retícula. Porque mm. pues, ¿cuál es la diferencia? La verdad, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Uno puede decir, no, es que toca agudizar el ojo. No, no importa. Con una retícula también usted se va volviendo súper sensible a medir. Pero, pero para mí, y yo creo que Dani y yo somos como muy... muy Mm, parecidos en sí, eso. Sí, muy similares, muy compatibles con esa manera de pensar. Pues el dibujo no es estar correcto todo el tiempo. Yo creo que, incluso yo creo que dentro de todo lo que tenemos, yo le podría decir que el 95% de, por ciento de las obras que nosotros con, pues, compramos porque son cosas que nos gustan, yo creo que todas tienen como unos cánones distintos de, de proporción, sí. de, de color, o sea, unas no, cosas... No, y si uno hiciera el experimento de... Medir la imagen de referencia ah, de y medir el cuadra. resultado final nada, nunca nada nos cuadraría. Sí, nada cuadra. Ni en lo que tú haces, ni en lo que yo hago. Ni en lo que tenemos, yo ni creo. Ni en lo es que, que tenemos, sí, sí, es sí. Que lo que las, todas las cosas que tenemos como que se siente una, una libertad súper bonita a la hora de desarrollar la imagen. Y esa libertad pues sugiere mmm, como tomar unos riesgos, pero también 
a hacer unos sacrificios. Uh -huh. Normalmente eso es lo que pasa cuando uno eh, toma esas libertades, que, que va a haber cosas que pueden salir súper bien y va a haber otras cosas que uno dice, uy, me tocó. O sea, al haber tomado esta decisión, eh, tuve que sacrificar todas estas otras cosas. Entonces, de pronto yo por tratar de ser muy expresivo con la pintura, soy consciente de que se me dificulta muchísimo ser súper expresivo, o sea, tener como una respuesta cuando estoy pintando y medir al mismo tiempo. Uh -huh. Para mí esas son como dos energías súper distintas. Sí, sí, sí. Súper, súper distintas. Yo no puedo reaccionar y medir. Para mí... Y las dos son súper chéveres. Sí. Pero es que uno no puede... Yo siempre he descrito como el arte como que vienen en... Eh, existen como categorías uh -huh. y hay un slider, como hay una cosita como en Photoshop que uno puede mover de un lado al otro, uh -huh. pero uno no puede mover todas al 100, digamos que todas fueran como atributos, todas uh -huh. esas categorías son atributos de una imagen y es imposible coger cada una de esas y moverla hasta 100, como para decir voy a hacer la pintura más chévere del mundo. Muy Todo tecnológica tú. Todo... Sí, pero creo que la gente como no, que No, muy esa buena, analogía. muy buena, o sea, muy... Lo que sucede... El futuro es ahora. <risa> Lo que sucede es que cuando yo quiero ser expresivo, la parte donde yo estoy tratando de ser cuidadoso, pues no me deja. O sea, cuando una se mueve para un lado, la otra se mueve para el otro. Uh -huh, sí, porque sí. yo no puedo mover las dos al mismo tiempo. Entonces, ahí es cuando uno empieza a decir, bueno, que... O sea, si uno pudiera imaginarse como todas las cosas que componen la imagen que uno va a hacer, uno dice, cuando yo... O sea, si yo, por ejemplo, voy a querer enfatizar muchísimo la atmósfera... Muchas veces la atmósfera quiere decir que uno está sacrificando información, porque el aire se estraga la información, se la traga. Entonces uno no puede decir atmósfera al 100, y detalle, de, detalle al 100. Detalle al 100, no sí, se puede, sí, sí. no se puede. Entonces uno tiene que empezar como a calibrar todas esas cosas en la mente y decir qué tipo de imagen quiero hacer, qué quiero, qué estoy dispuesto a sacrificar para que qué atributo como que se exalte. Ojalá uh -huh. eso haya tenido sentido. Sí. Pues para mí, para mí. Pues para mí, sí. Para mí, tú. Eh, Jesús de la Osa dice, hablando de eso, ¿qué opinan del uso de proyectores para pasar una imagen al lienzo? Eh, a mí, por ejemplo, en el caso de unas personas que sé que lo utilizan para pasar sus propios dibujos. Es que cero. siento que ahí es distinto. O sea, Kent Williams me importa un bledo Pero que... ahí es distinto porque están usando su propio dibujo. Sí. Eh, yo creo que nosotros hemos dicho esto. O sea, y no, digo ya nosotros. hemos ido, sí, ya sí, hemos sí, sí. hablado de esto también. Sí, 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 que cuando es proyectar una imagen, o sea, proyectar la referencia y hacerlo, pues eh, creo que a veces como que se, se pierde mucho de la decisión propia de uno cuando está queriendo hacer algo, porque la información ya está dada. Entonces, sí. no es algo que nos guste. Es como, o sea, como herramienta, ¿cómo vamos a discutir con una herramienta? No, pues nah. igual es algo que existe. Es una herramienta y ya. Y o lo sea, que tú has hablado pincel, igual. Un proyector. O sí, sea, y tú has ya. hablado igual, puede haber una imagen muy poderosa que haya sido hecha así. Claro. Y, y eso no le quita que nada. sea una imagen y poderosa. Y uno, por ejemplo, tratando de hacerla a ojo, le queda una vaina hedionda y va a ser hedionda. O sea, y la otra va a ser más fuerte y ya, fin. El arte no es la mamá de uno. El arte no empieza... No, pero es que mi muchachito se esmeró toda la noche y estuvo trabajando durísimo y mientras tanto el amigo eh, proyectó y a él sí le pusieron cinco y en cambio a mi muchacho que se mató, mírele las ojeras, se mató y le pusieron dos ocho. No, el arte le importa un bledo. O sea, el arte no para a decir, sí. ay, sí, seamos justos. No, pero si algo es fuerte... Modo, o sea, no todas las imágenes proyectadas van a ser buenas. No, que eso es... yo creo... Exacto. ¿Se cayó? ¿Se cayó como algo? No. Eh, porque yo creo que hay mucha gente que cree eso. No, eso como, no es Como, ay, es que tengo un problema, es de dibujo, entonces esta va a ser la solución para mis problemas. Sí. Y no. en realidad... Y hay no... mucha gente que dice, no, yo sé dibujar. Lo que pasa es que no quiero gastarme todo este tiempo haciendo eso, sino que quiero... Quiero como... Ay, salgamos de esto. O sea, salgamos de esto rápido. Pero, de nuevo... O sea, creo que hablo por Dani, pero nosotros creemos que el dibujo, en el dibujo y en particular en todas las fallas que uno tiene con su dibujo, porque todo el mundo tiene como unas, unas cosas que tiene que, a las que tiene que sobreponerse, 
mientras dibuja, pues eso es lo que en últimas le da muchísimo del ca de, de sí. carácter a lo que a lo que al dibujante que sí, es uno por o a eso la persona. Yo decía lo de las decisiones propias. Sí. Como que uno se está manifestando en lo que uno está haciendo, porque sí. pues igual todas esas que, o sea, todo eso que la gente que recae como siempre en usar proyectores por querer que sea exacto el dibujo. O sea, esa gente no se está dando la posibilidad de saber cómo es que su cerebro está entendiendo la cosa que está queriendo pintar. O decide, o, o está tomando esa decisión. Porque sí. tampoco estamos diciendo... No, por eso digo, o sea, tampoco o sea, es como nosotros juzgando desde acá. Como, ah, no, es que no, usted... no, no. No, sino que a juicio nuestro hay una, un mundo maravilloso cuando que uno se pierde. pelea. O sea, cuando uno está peleando sí. contra un dibujo O que y pelea. se pierde cuando uno... Sí, eh, o... Pues... Utiliza otras herramientas que, que disminuyen la toma de decisiones de uno. Y es, que, es, y es que ese argumento además solo sirve para cierto tipo de obra, porque uno nunca ve un Giacometti y dice, ay, hubiera proyectado uh -huh. el dibujo. Es como, ¿qué? Sí. O como así. O sí. uno no ve un Igon Schiele y dice, ay, lo, sí, esto con proyección tendría menos distorsión, la pierna sería menos larga. ¿Qué? O sea, sí, sí, sí. uno nunca piensa eso en esas cosas. Lo que pasa es que apenas uno entra como al mundo del naturalismo, apenas uno tiene un pie en el mundo como de, de, de una pintura naturalista, es como, ah, bueno, ahora vamos a juzgar es contra la naturaleza. Uh -huh. O sea, ahora todo sí lo vamos a juzgar es cuánto se aleja o cuánto se acerca a la naturaleza. Uh -huh. Y ahí es donde yo creo que nosotros nos volvemos como un poco simplones. O sea, como, uh -huh. no, pues no, esa no es la única variable que importa si uno está pintando algo medio naturalista no, o sea el, 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 en el buen arte normalmente hay muchísimas variables que están también como que existen al mismo tiempo de, de o sea, de, de la filosofía que uno decidió al representar algo, uh -huh. entonces no se trata solamente de cuál o sea, de si, de si uno puede ser eh, fiel a lo que está observando Mm, mi amore was saying hello, hello, good morning. Tw uh, 12.35 a.m. here. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> and so they are um, way, way east. Yeah. In, and way east in, in reference to us. Yeah. And um, they were also saying, which I found uh, super uh, funny, because they said, Spanish is such a beautiful language, no. but they say they said this when we were talking about cachucha and Oh yeah, yeah. So it's so funny because um we were talking about dumb things. And well, they words also that, said words that uh, that mean different things. Mean different, different things regions. regardless if it's Spanish. Like it could be all Spanish, but depending on the country where you're at, it yeah. can mean something completely different. And they were also saying I'll be heading out now. Got economics e exam tomorrow. Good Oof. night all. I love your art. Oh, thank you. And good luck, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And good sleep because it's late there. Super late. Well. 12.30. Yeah, but well, you for know, me when now, you're studying for an exam. Yeah, but. No, because they were looking at the video. They were not studying. For oh, the I, exam. I know. We are ruining professionals. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, f future professionals watching our painted lives. Yeah. It is the bane like of everyone, I Like, I spent a year more yeah. to graduate. <laughs> Thanks, Everything guys. thanks I was going to be class of 2019. Now, um, thank you, Our Painted Lives. Thank you, class 2025. <laughs> um, Iván dice, los proyectores son caros en todo caso. También, sí. Um, David Rodríguez dice... David Rodríguez había preguntado sobre medir las referencias. Sí. Y dice, me da alivio esa respuesta porque a veces me estresaba mucho cuando un dibujo no era igual a la referencia en cuanto a proporciones. Pero David, ¿y quién va a ver la referencia aquí? Porque sí. la compartimos por ser y es que igual no como didácticos. La referencia no Pero importa. nadie en la historia de la pintura, o sea, después no, que... a manera anecdótica... Las pueden ver. Claro, uno, uno dice, ay, estoy viendo este libro de Muca y ay, miren las fotos que usaba Muca para hacer sus eh, afiches uh -huh. o toda la obra que él hacía. Es como, ay, miren las fotos, de aquí las acaba. Y hay fotos incluso de muca que están con eh, retícula. Sí. Que están todas cuadriculadas, súper chévere para pasarlas a, a, a lo que fuera que estaba haciendo. 
Entonces, es, eh, se vuelve algo súper chévere, pero de nuevo, a mí se me hace eso anecdótico. Sí, pero es pero como yo nunca he que... puesto como la foto que encontré en un libro encima de la pintura y... a ver cuánto sí. se pifió. No, y además decir como, ah, no, ya viéndola con la referencia ya no me gusta. Sí. No, o sea, si a uno le gusta... Pues así es como la Lo que ya. se produjo le gusta y punto, sin importar de... O sea, sin importar qué tanto se acerque o se aleje de la referencia. Eh, Richard Williams said, my first life, finally, and wow, you grew up fast, kid, you grew up fast, kid, lol. Oh, fair, I've yeah. I've watched these videos a few times and watched you grow through them. Also, will you be doing another Gouache Week or series? Oh, so, yeah, should. Fer has grown a lot. Yeah. A lot. And Samu, too. I mean. Yeah. Uh, oh, Samu is my height now. Samu no. is, you know. And it's not only about the height, but about everything. I mean, his face has changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, his personality, everything. I mean, he's being yeah. a, like a grown up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kids are like, you know, if 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 you have if you've ever had in your family like a little kid, like uh for example, Danny with her uh little cousin, um me with my kids. They and, show and time, my, the passive oh, time. Yeah, but when they're little, they're like a ball. They're like this cute little fat ball. Yeah. They're delicious. Yeah, I babies mean it are is so cute. Like the best they are just ever. Like cheeks, big, big cheeks that eat and crap. They're so like and poop. squishy. Yeah, I, they're incredible. I have photos of my kids that they were so round and it's like amazing. Yeah. Now they're like long and tall and ugly. I mean, it's, no, no, no. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Mm, David Rodriguez dice: Es verdad. Supongo que erróneamente pensaba que sí. Si que si no era igual a la referencia, eso me hacía menos artista o algo así. Uh, M. M. Berg said, Wow, this is going to be another beautiful painting. Oh, my, I mean, I'm assuming. You I'm like sorry, <laughs> but the amount of pressure that <laughs> yeah, today that everyone is putting on me. It's going like to end up being down, another. Like, calm down. Another 24 hour stream. Oh, my God. Like, so Now I'm going to ruin it on purpose just to feel okay with myself. And M. M. Berg 00 also said, I'm assuming you like to take your take and use your own reference photos, which is wonderful. Oh, I, this is, as I was saying, maybe you missed it um, at the beginning. But Fer goes to a um, Italian school here in Bogota. And uh, they celebrate, they're celebrating today the uh, Venice Carnival. Mm -hmm. So she has to go in costume and, and she's gone in costume and like super traditional costumes like years past. But today she she wanted to go like medieval. So she's just this lady that I, I told her that she looked like a like a town's lady, like, you know, um, but she's looking very Renaissance fair. Yeah. And uh, and I always tell them about the uh, face because Fed is always kind of laughing. And I'm always like, no, think of like sad things. Just. I don't want to paint a uh, like a smile, <laughs> so um, yeah. so that's her uh, that's her early morning because this is like very early morning before the uh, bus just coming to get her. So, and um, and and me telling like a com combination of that and me telling her think of sad things. So, mm. Roslyn said, absolutely. I will send you pics and house always house Danny. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Rosalind. Always house, always house hunting for me. Oh my god, that's my sport. <laughs> I know. Well, um, Grace and Joy said you guys are the best. Thank you. I will definitely take photos once I figured out the display. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And We no would pressure. Be happy to however see it. it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> however it is, and however you like it, it's gonna be perfect. Yeah. Uh, your mom was saying. It, Olgira. it looks already a wonderful painting. Oh my God, stop this. <laughs> stop the insanity. <laughs> Marciel said, I missed the beginning, but it looks like there is no underdrawing. Well, um, there, was. there was like a, there was a drawing that was offset to the left. And I just said, oh, I kind of know, like when I did that scribble, I, I realized, okay, those are my proportions, which I'm probably off, like for sure. But, uh, But I was like, but I didn't like it being a little too centered. So I, I pushed uh, Fer to the uh, right. So that's that's all we did. Like a drawing 
to give us a sense of placement. But then it was just painting again. Back to uh, putting paint down again. Richard Williams said, Kids are like kittens and puppies. They grow and destroy the furniture and poop all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and Richard also said, Looks to be your best painting ever. No oh, pressure. Oh, yeah. Thank you. No, thank <laughs> you guys are awesome today. Thank you. Great. Mm. Emicia Nuro dice, Super fuera de tema, pero... Pe todo eso nos encanta. Todo bienvenido. ¿Cuál es el mejor platillo colombiano? Aquí en México es el mole amarillo, jaja. Ja. Bueno, todos son buenos. No, pero ahí, ¿cómo decimos? ¿Cómo, cómo decir? Ni Para siquiera mí... en Dani y yo estaríamos en desacuerdo, sí, seguro. Sí, sí, sí. De... Para mí es el ajiaco y a Nicolás no le gusta el ajiaco. Sí, no, no, no es mi favorito, la Uy. verdad. Que eso es como sacrilegio aquí en Bogotá decir eso. No, no, yo conozco mucha un gente poco, que no le gusta. Un poco, hay, o sea... Pero no entiendo esa gente. <risa> esa <risa> gentuza. No, pero es que a mí me encanta el ajiaco. Me fascina. El ajiaco de mi abuela es el mejor, pero... Es una sopa, por si no conocen. Cualquier ajiaco es una delicia. Por si, si no es conocen, una sopa. es una sopa que se hace con, con tres papas. Tres, tres tipos, de papa. tipos de papa. que son nativas aquí en Colombia. Uh -huh. y mmm, pollo, eh, entonces eso hace como el caldo, es un caldo súper uh -huh. grueso, como no es un caldo, o sea, sino que es como una sopa de consistencia, es sí, como una sí, crema. Sí, porque pues la papa lo espesa. Tiene más consistencia como de crema, como una sí. crema de zapallo, una crema de Y se le echa después, eh, pues si a la gente le gusta, crema de leche, Blah. delicioso. Fatal, lo y peor. yo crecí sin comérmelo con alcaparras, y, ahora? y lo probé con alcaparras, y es una sensación eh, una de experiencia otro mundo, religiosa. Pero increíble. O sea, yo podría en cada cucharada poner una alcaparra. Oye, ¿y te comerías una... alcaparras con algo más? ¿O no por, sé. por ahora están funcionando solo con Pues el... creo que ya les daría la opción de comérmelas solas. Mm -hmm. Como en un sanduchito. Como en un snack solas. No, mentira. No, okay. <risa> no, hay no pero, pero las probaría con algo más. Sí. Pero es que la mezcla de ajiaco crema de leche, mm. un poquito de arroz, o, o mucho arroz, mm. y aguacate, alcaparra. Una mazorca. Uf. ¿Qué más tiene? ¿Una pero mazorca, yo, un sí, aguacate? Pero aguacate yo lo puedo dejar de lado. Para mí no es esencial en el ajiaco. Eh, pero son... El ajiaco es delicioso. Muy rico. Y la mazorca, pues, siempre es rica. Eh, pero para ti, ¿cuál sería? Pero típico, porque es que a ti te dicen plato típico y tú dices... Carne molida. Carne, arroz y... Y naco. Y naco. Que naco, yo no, nunca había oído naco hasta que conocí a Nicolás. Naco es puré de papa. Sí, de pronto alguien... Para mí Igual que yo eso. no conocía. No, pero eso no es un plato típico colombiano, mi amor. Yo creo que sí. No, eso es un plato típico Casa Uribe Benningo. No, hay gente... Si hay gente en otros países, por favor... Díganme. Por eso, pero en otros países. Sí, si es muy. En otros o sea, países es latinoamericanos. De, por eso, pero eso es comida de todo lado. No es como no, que uno no, diga el ajiaco. Sé. El ajiaco, pues es colombiano. Pero es que de pronto el naco con nuestra papa es, es muy particular. <risa> ya lo estás tratando de encajar claro, para poder yo, decir. Yo lo voy a maquillar ahí. Eh, eh, no, colombiano. Sancocho. Colombiano, colombiano. Sancocho. Pues puedo decir la sopa de mi mamá entonces, que a mí me encanta. Porque sí, es esa que, tampoco es tan típica, es que iba pero a decir es muy lentejas, rica. carne molida de arroz. Pero y, lentejas y que le echen más... a uno una tajada de plátano, tajaditas o sea, es de como... plátano. Pero eso también es muy latino. Como una bandeja paisa sin los frijoles. Eso es como muy tro... eh, como con ecuatoriano, ecuatorial, uh -huh. siento yo. No, voy a decir entonces la sopa de mi mamá, que es una sopa como... De pata con... Sí, es, es una sopa como de, del valle. Que tampoco es tan conocida, yo no la conozco. Pero que tú no la conozcas no quiere decir. Es una sopa de albóndiga y patacón, uh -huh. que es una cosa de otro planeta. De sí. otro planeta. Sancocho, a mí me encanta. Además, sancocho. un plato de esa sopa, uno puede durar sin comer después como cinco días. No. Con un plato de esa sopa, sí. Es, es la comida que yo he comido en mi vida que más llena. Si Olguita está acá, ya sabe que yo repito esa sopa. Ah, a ti te sirven siempre. <risa> sí. Sí. Dani, eh... Dani es, yo ya lo he dicho, pero Dani es como esas, eh, esas canecas que hay en los, en los parques, que son de esos payasos con la boca abierta. Mi papá dice que mi a Dani mamá... le pueden tirar todo, todo, mi ma... todo. Es mi como papá una paloma. dice que mi mamá también es de esas canecas, no. pero no porque come mucho, sino porque se ríe así, <risa> con la boca así abierta. La verdad, toca grabar la risa de tu mamá y poner Ay, ese mamá, payaso. <risa> sí. Eh, sí, pero sancocho, delicioso, 
de todo. Sí, sí. O sea, sancocho de costilla, sancocho de cola, sancocho de gallina. Pescado. Pa sancocho de pescado, todo es delicioso. Sí. Eh, bandeja paisa, a mí me encanta. Sí. Yo comía mucha bandeja sí. paisa donde mi abuela. Sí, yo, yo puedo. Los frijoles me Muy matan, delicioso. pero yo obviamente puedo. ¿Con chicharrón? No. Delicioso. No, a mí el me da dolor no. de cabeza, no sé por qué, pero me... yo pues creo que es la grasa, la grasa pero me que encanta. Es tu corazón muriendo y diciéndole sí. al cerebro, pero nos yo vamos. Solo cierro los ojos para que la luz para no morir, me moleste. Para morir tranquila. Y sigo comiendo chicharrón. Eh, empanaditas, delicioso. Sí, pero empanadas también hay en muchos lados. Eh, ¿Qué más? Bien. <risa> eh, Marcel said, are you going for a high key again? So, no. So, technically, this couldn't be a high key painting because there's this moment that is very clearly high key, but then there's moment there's a moment that's like a, you know, mid-tone towards the dark, then there are this a hint of dark, so there's these couple of accents here, here that are um, objectively dark, and then there's this kind of mid-tone here. So once we have that, once we have a very light moment, um, mid-tones to the light, mid-tones to the shade, uh, mid darker mid-tones and then shade, and then, the, you know, our darkest darks, then you're pretty much doing just a regular painting, you know, a painting that'll take advantage of the whole value scale. So um, just to um, iterate what I said at the beginning, what I'm going to try to do is have these moments, and I think they're super clear now, like which are the moments that are going to be high key. I'm going to have those moments, so very spectral, very uh, phantasmagoric uh, moments. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have the rest of the painting try to follow the values that I'm looking at. So, a little strange, a little weird, but we're going to see if it can work. Let's see if it can work. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Mm. Amanda Navarrete dice, Nicolás, what is your opinion on Barg Plate? Barg? Oh, and oh, I chocolate. love those. I love those. I used to have that book. I, that book is in my, um, in Samu's, in my school, uh, my old school. So, yeah, um, but it says bark plate drawings and have you... Plate, yeah. Plate, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. And have you done any yourself? No, I haven't done... I mean, I haven't done them in the way that you're supposed to do them. You know, copying them like one-to-one. -one, okay. Like um, site size. I haven't done that. So, the the specific, like, very academic exercise of uh, copying bark plates, I haven't done. But... Copying Barg drawings in my sketchbooks? Oh, my God. I've copied tons of them. So, specifically the exercise, no. But using those drawings as my source of just, you know, looking at form turning and just construction of form. Oh, yeah, a hundred times. Um, I think that's great. I think it's great. I think it... I, I just always feel that that's not the only way to draw, for sure. Like, I would love for people to, to do those drawings, for example, to spend, I don't know how many, how many hours people spend with those drawings. Let's say 10 hours. But I think it's super important to spend 10, 12 hours on those drawings, but also, you know, draw from life from the model one-minute poses. I think that, and then when you, after you do that, go to like a cafe or like a little restaurant or a pub or, and then draw people there. Draw people that aren't posing. Um... I think all those things are important. I think to be a well-rounded um, artist, you kind of have to feel what that ex what all those exercises feel like. Just so we don't have like this monolithic definition of drawing. The, the, the ideal thing is to, even if you're not good at all those things, which are not going to be because that's how life works, um, at least you, you have a sense of what it means, like what it entails to do those drawings. So the next time you're doing your bar plate, You don't look down at people that are just like sketching at a cafe yeah, and thinking, I'm not saying that people that draw bark plates think this way, but you know, usually when we feel we are in the right path, we kind of look down at other paths. So ideally, we just want to go through all of them at the beginning to know that, wow, this is so ample, like this is such a broad road that there's, you know, As many, <clears throat> there's as many talented draftspeople as there are people out there that are willing to 
uh, experience their life through drawing. So, and 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 the roads and the um, the uh, the manner of drawing, the manner of understanding drawing can be so so varied. Like it can be so beautiful that we have to. I think the quicker we accept that and we learn about that, the better. Mm, Rohit Kim Havi said, "Right now, the painting really looks." symbolic style with those two vertical strokes on the left vertical strokes on the left this? maybe maybe this i mean i understand like symbolism it may be, it may look like uh malshevsky kind of malshevsky ish which i'm totally fine by the way i mean i'm a huge fan of malshevsky so mm, nah, nah, me mm -hmm. said for me choose drawing or my art is so hard and I always have to ask someone for saying me is good and sometimes it's so suffering because I see it good but I can't believe it. Yeah, learning how to uh, judge what we do mm. is very tough. I think Danny spoke about that yeah. yesterday. So yeah. it would be cool if, if you're kind of struggling with that we would invite you to listen to yesterday's yeah, uh, video. Yeah, I can link it for you. Yeah, because I think Danny I think I touched upon... Um, like perception, the perception that one has with, with you know, one's oneself. own work yeah. and how, you know, sometimes how hard it is to do something good and to acknowledge it. Yeah. So, yeah, because that's something that I struggle with, too. And I think a lot of people struggle with, too. So, so I'm gonna send you the link so you can check it out if you want to. Here, oh, oh, here it is. Richard Williams said, "We are our own worst critic." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we are yeah. ruthless with ourselves. It's yeah, terrible. We, I think we even s said it like that also yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was a. Um, I think yesterday's video was super, super cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Yeah. Um, I, and I'm gonna tell you, Danny. I know this is our living. And, you know, we always depend on, on making sales. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I'm okay. Like, I'm quietly okay with having these two pieces. Me too. Like, I'm, I'm even, like, thinking about a frame. Like, do you, uh, do you remember these, Danny? I'm pointing at um, these shelves that Danny mm -hmm. got me for yeah. uh, some of my figures. Um, were there smaller ones? Yeah. Like, half the size, maybe? But, like, the thickness? Yeah, same thickness. Like no? Same, Same thickness, thickness, but but half the size, half the length. Oh, the length? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. we can check. Could you check? Because having yours and mine. Because I think I would, I would love to frame it with like a wooden frame. Yeah. So that it kind of echoes the wood from your sculpture. Yeah, and have and mine then it's in the back. The side. And then you're you're like in front of it. Ugh. I think it would be super like and in the shelf. It, yeah. Like they would be like in the shelf. I would love that. Yeah. I would love that. So and and yesterday you were talking about uh keeping yeah. the sculpture yeah so. and of course I would love to keep them both it, your, <laughs> like your I would sculpture love. is incre I'm I'm not no. saying like and oh let's painting, let's Nicolas sell painting. stuff that's like the lesser like mm. stuff no of course not I think we've made we've made it abundantly clear that we. It doesn't matter how we see or if we think it's good or not. Or no, and if it sells, that's not we're going to be brain. super happy too. Yeah, that's, of course, it, it'll, it'll make sense with everything that we're doing. But, um, but, you know, it's up there. And being up there, it's us acknowledging, yeah, it can sell at some point. <laughs> it would be super funny if we were like making the frame... And no, it just arrived. Oh no, no, no! I would make it. No, I'm joking. I, yeah, I joking. but no, no, you're right. But no, if we if we are convinced, like, well, we can leave it for like another week, and um, if it doesn't sell in a week, like, we can be like, okay, we can just we'll just take it at not even put sold, just take it down. Mm -hmm. We can take it down and, and just acknowledge that this is ours. Mm. But in my head, I just envision it looking amazing. So yeah, me yeah. too. Roslyn said, I watched yesterday's convo and I was blown away seeing the work held. You really appreciate the skill of the artwork. Bravo, both of you. Oh, thank you, Roslyn. Thank you so much. 
And thank you for uh, sharing my post. I was super happy to see you shared my post. I don't know. Is there a way you can see when people share your post? You usually get like... um. No, because I didn't. I just... No? no cause I usually no? get that. No, I didn't. Like I was somebody just mentioned like you. You get always like a... Uh, thing that tells you no, some, this person mentioned you in a post and no 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 because or in a story no because they uh Roslyn wasn't mentioning me uh -huh. but she shared the post I did but if you're tagged you'll get it if, if for some reason it but was how it, am I tagged so maybe you weren't tagged and she just took a screenshot and shared that no 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 because she didn't share the story because when someone shares my story I can see it she shared the post so that yeah the should be you should get something no i didn't get anything yeah i'll, I'll I mean, show you i was you. just like uh looking the stories yeah and i saw that she shared it but look like this so she shared yeah but you should get go to your heart and see if there's not a notification <laughs> go of, to your heart <laughs> like the little heart yeah the <laughs> little dumb heart no? Check and look and i can even uh, maybe maybe or is that like a biz like They don't tell you that in, in like that like your account? No. That would be weird. Like if they'd only start to doing that like with um with accounts with like whatever number of followers, that would be stupid. Yeah. The thing is I am happy I saw it and I'm thankful um for uh Rosalind sharing yeah. it. Yeah. You know, I, I gotta say, Danny, I there's so many things I I dislike about Instagram. I, I really do. But I can't deny that this is the way, like, that is the way that we were able to to start to build yeah. our community. No, I, I like... I There's so like, many things that I'm like, oh, come of course, on. There's like, this is broken. There's a lot of things that, I, that are, like, wrong. But I think that, as you said, we are here and we're able to uh, make a living of this. Yeah, because there were people that started uh, liking what you did on Instagram. Yeah, no, you're you're a hundred percent right. But, geez, I mean, it's it's broken. It really is broken. William Felipe dice, "Hola, no, no se puede, Dani, no que yo sepa." Camilo dice, "You can share any post without the artist knowing you shared it, unless they tag you." And Marcel said, "I sometimes tag Nicolas to show some as awesome painter." Uh, yeah, so I think you can't see. Like, if that's uh, what I was thinking. Like, if they share a post yeah. you did and they don't tag you, you can't see it. I wonder. I, I don't know. I, I think I always get notifications when they're... Like, if there's... if if the um, Like, if my account is tagged in a post... No, because that's the thing. They're not tagging your account. They're sharing a post It doesn't matter, but your name is there. Like your link, a link to your name is there. That's almost like a tag. That's literally like almost like a tag. I'll show you, not now, but I'll show you later that, because that's, I mean, it doesn't happen all the time with me, but it, it happens often that, often enough so that, that I see those, um, those things. And I don't even have notifications turned on in, in my Instagram. So I rarely can keep up with, with, um, with those things, but I seldom, I sometimes see it. Mm. Richard Williams said it's a constant internal battle that will never end I think we just have to come to terms with it and embrace it instead of fighting with it instead of looking for the quote unquote perfect painting learn to be content with a happy medium that's where I'm at with learning to feel quote unquote finished with art that's perfect Noel C. dice, saludos a ambos. Saludos, Noel. Saludos, Noel. Con composiciones similares a la de hoy, siempre peleo con el impulso de rellenar ese espacio abierto. ¿Este? ¿Tienen algún consejo al respecto? No sentirse mal con el espacio abierto. Es esta, ya estaba... Miré mucho a Dega y vea los espacios así súper eh, super vacíos que él tiene y, y se va a dar cuenta que no todo espacio tiene que ser como activado de la misma manera como con cosas o sea, no, no todo tiene que tener cosas y formas y diagonales y, o, o como gestos que configuren algo, ¿no? 
Sí, sí, sí. Pues incluso yo estoy pensando como en mi trabajo, yo, eh, yo incluso suelo dejar mucho abierto. Sí, o sea, sí, a ti te gusta eso. Abierto y crudo del papel y no como, ay, eso me gusta y lo voy a hacer siempre, sino que yo siento que yo voy construyendo la imagen y a veces siento que tengo que parar. Sí. Y a veces eso significa que queda una parte súper grande de la imagen sin terminar, entre comillas. Sí. Entre comillas, por eso lo digo. Sí, sí. Es, como... que es difícil de... de, de, de... Es difícil eh, utilizar esa definición cuando uno está tratando de hablar sí. de... No, 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 porque para mí está terminado 100%. Sí. Resuelto. Para Yo por mí eso... está resuelto. Es sí. que no se te hace que es más... Esa palabra es como, ah, listo, me quito el peso de encima de, de referirme a algo acabado, que es como rarísima esa palabra. Pero no yo sé, no, me funciona acabado, a pero terminado. O sea, lo terminé, lo que sea que eso significa. Pero bueno, sí, entonces está más... Lo resolví de una manera en la que quedan muchos espacios vacíos. Y eso, yo no, como que yo nunca he peleado con eso. Oye, y con eso no quiero decirte, oye, usa esta palabra, sino no. que es que a mí no, me no, ayuda... No, 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 pues lo estoy cuando, pensando porque sí tiene sentido. Cuando o sea, digo eso, yo entiendes me cuesta distinto. muchísimo, yo a mí me cuesta muchísimo decir... Terminar. Ya terminé. Terminé, sí, No, sí, es sí. como, prefiero pensar, al comienzo de la pintura había un problema y siento que ya lo resolví. Lo resolví, ¿Y ya? exacto. Y sí, eso sí, significa sí. un millón de cosas, o sea, eso no tiene, no tiene una definición que está como tan anclada... Con, con la historia de, de la configuración de imágenes, digamos, que eso es, eso es lo que a veces nos pesa mucho, como pensar que es que una imagen tiene que verse de una manera. Eh, Sergi Arts dice, hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Sergi. Ay, la referencia de hoy es preciosa. No, no más, quítala. Qué ganas quítala. de ver el proceso y resultado No, no más, no más, chao, gracias. La voy a dejar, ya voy a parar. Su, ya voy, voy a parar para referencia. que no molesten. Sí, voy a parar para que no jodan más, ya no más. Eh, Pobre Sergi está, pero yo qué dije Yo que si sí, acabo de llegar sí, <risa> sí. Uno llega y lo regañan, qué mamera eh, Guy Bailey said Interested in your preferred approach Today's painting feels like a Boston school approach Oh, that's nice I'm going to take that as a big compliment I-E ¿Qué es I-E? I punto e. It's like, I think it's Latin for like... Um, For example, oh, okay. I, I don't know exactly so, what I stands for, for what the E stands for. But how do you read it? I-E, I -E, like you oh, said okay. it perfectly. Okay. So, but it's saying like, for example. Okay, I-E, getting the effects and working the whole canvas rather than mapping the shapes, objects. Thoughts? Oh, yeah. I think uh, if, if maybe you um, got in, you just got in. But I think in the initial minutes, we were describing how... I need very quickly to put something down and to see the direction I'm headed. Like, very, very quickly. I think, fundamentally, Danny and myself are incredibly different painters in the sense that we, like, I can't work like Danny, and her attention to detail is what makes her, like, such a capable person when she has to deal with, for example, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, dimensions of the sculpture from yesterday. I want to point that out. It's like that big. <laughs> the figure is about that big. I mean, that <laughs> is why this is remarkable. Um, but you. she's able to do that because she has that eye that let, like her brain works that way. Not, not just her eyes, but her brain can actually see smaller things. And, yeah. and I even tell you, like I've even told you a lot of times, like I would love to, understand uh painting the way you do like being super open like i like as you say you can't deal with a lot of details i can't deal <laughs> with uh the como se, como la ausencia. absence the absence of detail like it would be so hard for me to think uh of constructing an image Without the details. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. I, I don't, like, I don't even know how to understand that. So, yeah. Yeah, but that's, we are very different. Yeah. So, I think it's, um, it's just a wonderful reminder that that doesn't matter. It just, it really doesn't matter. It's just the path you take to get to wherever you want. And, and that's it. 
I have to work from big to small. 100%. I have to work from small to small. <laughs> yeah, and Danny can work from the part. Yeah. And that's it's remarkable. It's it's incredible. Rosalind said, "I did a test. I reposted two of your posts. The first is the way I did it yesterday. The second is tagged slash mentioned. Oh, now there you we go. can see if there is a difference. Look. Oh, Rosalind. Rosalind is like Rosalind. My my. Rosalind. Yeah. Oh, Rosalind. But look at your. You're always super sweet. Let's see. Mm. Oh, so the one." You shared, uh, like the one you did yesterday, that's uh, without mentioning, I didn't get any anything. But then you used, uh, like you tagged me, and I can see that I have, it's like if I had a DM, and it says, Rosalind mentioned you on a story. That's what I get. And you can add to a, your story. That, yeah, that's what I get. Yeah, but look, it's just like this, I don't get But this one, when it has my username tagged. Okay. So you can only see what people, when people tag you. So, okay. Oh. So, so just copying the, the tag or, or the fact that you show up in the, uh, or the fact that you can link the username doesn't mean that you're tagged. Like the fact that it's there. The link? No, because well, they're sharing cause, your post. Right. But, but they're not that's being, almost like link that's almost well, like tagging somebody. Yeah, but it's a weird way to say it. But yeah. I know, but it should be like a tag, I feel. Yeah. So no, so okay. We figured that one out. Thank you, Rosalind. Uh, yeah, thank you, Rosalind. Mm. Uh, Richard Williams said, Danny, to your analytical thinking when you art. Do you think that there is a subconscious need to be, quote unquote, as good as Nick? Can I call you Nick? And that may be your battle for perfection? No. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't no. even. I mean, I'm, I mean, I know you're not trying to say it like in a bad way. But the thing is that I don't feel that I'm uh, inferior no. to Nicolas. So, like, I love what you do, I uh, love Nicolas, what you do. but I don't think that you're. Art is perfection in my eyes. I mean, they can be perfect as your art. This is the last art. conversation we're having. No, no, no. I'm they kidding. Can be perfect. You know that I'm kidding because you know how we both feel but about But I think they're perfect for what you do, but they're not perfect for what I want to that's be. Perf that's a perfect way so, of defining it. Yeah, yes. no, that's why I wanted to say, I mean, I love what you do and it's amazing Again, for you. I mean, I'm reiterating everything, but I think, yeah, I don't uh, feel like I'm inferior and I'm like looking to get to the level that Nicolas is because I think that if that was my mindset. Oh, I, 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 I would say that we wouldn't be together. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that I wouldn't even be able to have like a healthy relationship. Yeah, no, no, no. I wouldn't. Because I can't. Imagine living with like the burden of feeling that I'm not with an equal. Yeah. Like feeling always down. No. Oh, and I wouldn't. I was. I would never search for a person that would feel like that. Yeah. Like if be, I met you, and w when I met you, I realized how like intelligent and funny and creative and talented you were. Like, that's what attracted me about you. And that's what I want from you. Like, yesterday, it's a proof. It's, like, perfect proof that, you know, you do stuff that I can't even imagine. I can't conceive. I think that that's why we're together. Because you're doing stuff that it's, like, you fill up voids that I don't know I have. You know, as soon as I look at something, it's, like, oh, my God. Yeah, and even if we did similar work... It would be the same. I think it would be the same. Yeah, that's what I wanted to. Yeah, it would be the same feeling. Yeah. Like we both paint and it, I feel the same way. Yeah. It's not about you doing it's a, it's not like you do sculpture and I do paint just so we don't step in, in, no. like on each other's toes. No, because that's yeah, cuz I think that even if we step on the technique that the other one uses, we are different artists. And we it's not like it's there's a better artist and a worst artist. I 
You could be the better one. No, no, you no, can no. take that. No, but wait, because the point of it is not having a better or a worst. We're just different artists, and that's cool. Like, I don't feel like I have to understand uh, my level mm -hmm. as an artist by comparing it to you. Yeah. No, never, never, never. And I think that's not healthy. No, it's not. So. No, no, it's not. And not healthy for me or for anyone that's... Uh, well, we can't ask, answer for anyone, but at least for us. And yeah, we yeah. believe that... No, no, no. I was going to say that and not healthy for no one that's maybe looking to... Like looking what I do mm -hmm. and what you do. Like you can judge me apart and you apart. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean we have a project together. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but we're different artists. Yeah, but, so. but what we do individually... Oh, it's worlds apart. Yeah. Like, and and I'll iterate. Like, there are tons of things that there's way, you know, the, too many places. And that's why we kind of know that we sort of belong together. But there's way too many things about Danny and me that we meet. Like, we are like, we both like the same thing. And we laugh at the same thing. And we feel like idiots about the same things. And um, usually when we buy art, like... I could buy something and not tell Danny. And as soon as I show it to her, like she, I know she likes it. Like yeah. she, she goes like, oh my God, that's so cool. But it's, and, and the same way she picked a Benjamin Bjorklund painting for me. And I absolutely adore it. Like I adore that painting. So there's a ton of places where we meet, but don't, don't get me wrong. Like there's tons of things where we are like, I love this. And I, I, I I'll go like, I actually don't like it that much. Yeah. And that is so fine. That's yeah. so okay. It's just a reminder that, of course, we're very different. Yeah. And I even was going to say that uh, with what I do, for example, I can be painting and I can show you and I can be like, hey, I think I'm missing because of this and this and this. And you can get what I'm saying. Yeah. And also the other way around, because we have a like... Um, like minded? How do I say it? Um, like we have similar things that we like, or we and we are like inclined to some things, but that doesn't mean that, um, like I'm looking for uh, Nicolas' point of view to be better. Yeah. On what I do, never. I mean, you can show me your things, and you can be like, oh, I feel something's missing, and I can give you my input. Yeah. And sometimes we, like, we think the same thing that the other one's thinking. Like, oh, yeah, I felt that I was missing on this aspect. But it doesn't mean that we're needing the other one to complete. Oh, other times. Oh. There's been so many times that you work on something and I give you my input because you ask me or we're having a conversation and you completely disregard it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, but and, no, thank Or I you. ask you about a painting And you're like, I think it's fine. I think it looks great. And I you're think, like, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna work for half okay, an hour goodbye. more. Okay, Thank you. Yeah. I'm gonna risk ruining it. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all of this to say that we, we, we know we are, uh, at the same level in everything in our life. Yeah, so. we're and we're colleagues. We're both artists. Like I've never seen ourselves as anything as anything, but that. Like, trust me, we wouldn't work if our relationship would not be if it wasn't for that. No, and I couldn't even show something no, if I, I felt that I was inferior to you. And I wouldn't even like, want to... No, I wouldn't even want to be with a person no, that feels that mm -mm, she's inferior. No, so. me neither. Um, or, yeah, me neither. And I wouldn't even, again, be with someone that feels that superior to me. Oh yeah, never, no. never, ever. Oh yeah, that's that's probably worse even. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, no. Danny's like throwing up in her mouth <laughs> a little bit. Mm, Leah said, "Danny, do you apply the same level of attention to detail <laughs> to creating the two hundred page art book currently available on Kickstarter? Less than two weeks to go, by the way. Of course, we do. We're gonna be super." Um, attentive to every detail of our book every single did so, every single one yeah so now that uh leah mentioned what is it, leah talking about danny uh let me tell you yeah we yes. have a kickstarter going on you so and leah you and me oh 
So we are painted lives. Okay. Have a Kickstarter going on. We have 11 days to go. 11? 11 days. Oh my God, to go. it's almost over. I'm gonna copy and paste the link for you guys to see it. But first, let me tell you about it. Okay. We're gonna do a 200 page full color hardcover art book. Oh, wow. And it's a. That's a lot of pages. And it's a big book. It's a big it's boy. 11. 0.2 by 11.2 uh, inches. Would you say that's coffee table size? It's a coffee table oh, size. Oh, wow. I think that's like uh, custom, like not custom, vintage coffee table size. Yeah. Yeah, Like wow. a very good size for a coffee yeah, table Yeah, that's book. a good book. It's a And hefty book. And also a very good size for having cool reproductions of that the paintings of That looks like a book that I want to flip through. Yes. Yeah. And you know, it has an amazing title. It's What is the title? possibilities that opens up so many doors it opens so many possibilities well you know? i wouldn't want to be that editor if but yeah um and that's not all that's not all so we're gonna have that so you okay. can get the book and if you want the book and like a little something something else a little some some yeah you can get that the hundred i haven't said that in 20 years i think <laughs> If you want, you can get the 100 Artist Edition. So you're going to get the book again. You can okay. get the book, the I amazing the book. book. Yeah. But you're also going to get a 10 by 10 inches portrait. That's a nice size. It's oil on unprimed paper. Oh, that's, you know, that's what we do. And it's a uh, painting you, Nicolas Uribe are gonna do oh, of any oh. artist no now i have to work you have aside to. from making the book i have to work <laughs> oh my god um i'm gonna help you with the book so okay but i was gonna say that the people that get that pledge of okay. the 100 artists yeah. can pick any artist of their liking so it can be any madonna sculpture. could madonna. be madonna you can paint madonna oh that. my god yeah. what i mean Any artist they like. Okay. Even a mu musician, as you said, painters, Yeah, so somebody, ra writers. somebody that's not Madonna then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so you, you, meaning the person that picks uh, the pledge. Yeah. They pick the artist. Yeah. And you, Nicolas, paint them uh, that artist that they like. Okay, your, yeah, I, I guess I'm up for that. It's you your know. depiction. I didn't sign up for that, artist. but I guess I, I got to do it now. So, I mean, 11 days to go. Uh, it sounds like a lot. But if maybe you want it, uh, maybe you should check it out But right I guess now. they have time, you know, because if, if the time runs out, you can buy the book l later, right? No, that's the thing. No, what? You can't. Oh, come on. You can't. The, you are the, just creating artificial FOMO. No, we're no? not. The thing is that we live in Colombia. Okay. And we have to ship the books From the United States. Oh, okay. So that, is, it would that be, sounds complicated it would and be pricey. A, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and it would be absurd would to be. have more books okay. and ship them afterwards because the logistics would be insane. A nightmare, I, so I think. So it's a way of saying it's going to be a limited edition and oh. limited to the number of backers we have. Oh, so, so once in this 11 days, so we're once gonna the know campaign the is over, it's over. It's over. Oh my God! So the where backers, is my credit card? <laughs> the backers that uh, have backed our project yeah. and that back our project in the 11 days we have. Yeah, that's the number of people that that's will be the, the of owners books? of our book. That's the that's the edition size? That's, Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's the edition oh size. Oh my god. I mean again, that's me, but if I was you, so much I would pressure. run oh, to buy the god. book. It's gonna It's be so good. Capitalist pressure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So uh, if after our speech you're interested. I mean I was gonna get something for my two year old, but You know what? Forget it. They can wait. You're two year old. They're young. Don't say this because <laughs> now people, maybe they don't understand that you're no, joking. No, no, I'll get the book instead. I mean, yeah. they can't touch the book. Come on. You don't give a book like that to a two year old. But um, So Kickstarter book campaign is yeah. live. Uh, check 
it out. We apologize, but we hadn't done this uh, for a couple of weeks, so. Yeah. Eleven days left, but you know, not on eleven de days. Only eleven days left. Only. Only. Yeah. So, there you go. If you want to check it out, you should check it out. You should. It's a great deal. I mean, it's pricey. I'm gonna say it. It's pricey, but it sounds like an amazing deal. But it's pricey because it's worth we it. are doing it. So yeah. we have to do the printing. Oh, you have to do everything. You're gonna design, do the printing. Everything. Well, not we're not doing the printing. No, but, but we're gonna be in charge of. We're the gonna printing. be super so, on top of everything. So we're not working with any editorial. No. And also, why I mean, not? You say they pricey. Never answered back. Pricey, but then you think. 200 pages? Oh, yeah. 200 pages 200 of paintings? Pages. 200 pages. 200 pages? No. I mean, don't yell at me, but yes. I mean, it's not, that's, that's it's pretty not amazing. that expensive. It's pretty amazing. I mean. You know what? It's 50 cents a page. That's what I was going to say. 50 cents a page. And you're not even taking into consideration the cover. You know, you look in your sofa. The cover. You can find 50 cents. You can find a page in yeah. your sofa right now. <laughs> if you go through your sofa, there's a page. And also, again, you're not even thinking about the hardcover. You know what? So it's 50 you're, cents you're a getting page the book, without... You're getting the book, like, December. You can save 50 cents a day you can from till December. You can find 50 cents anyway, in, your co in your couch. You could paint outside <laughs> at a stoplight. I am telling you, they're going to give you at least 50 cents a day. At least. Ariel Hernandez said 200 pages. <laughs> That's right, Ariel. 200 pages. What? I mean. Come on. I'm No brainer. If I ever no saw No brainer. One. I have no brain. I'll buy it. Van Sant said 50 cents a page. I bought a single of these pages for two, $250. <laughs> it's a bur virgin? How do I say it? Bargain. Bargain. Yep. <laughs> Not a virgin. <laughs> no. Bar bargain. <laughs> bargain. It's a weird word. It's a weird word. And hi, Van Sant. How are you? How's Maisha? Mm. <laughs> Liad said, two years old are so ungrateful in general. I would go for the book. <laughs> <laughs> They're mm. never going to remember what you're going to get them. You know, they never do. No, and they can use the book. A box. I mean, Give them a box. They'll play with the box. Maybe, they're like kittens. If maybe they're too They are kittens that go to expensive colleges. If they're too small for the dining table... You can put the book. I mean, it's 200 on top of your pages. Kid. <laughs> yeah. I and mean, they can sit on top of the book and they're going to be a level. I mean, the book can have a lot of uses. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, because I'm joking and I'm not seeing if... Uh, I think we did a good job there. Yeah. It was infomercial worthy. I mean, if I was see watching the video, I would have... But stopped i like would have been like what books. what are these commercials that are in youtube now <laughs> 10 books that's how they get you that's how they're placing commercials now in youtube mm. <laughs> wishlist 011 said i hadn't thought of that you just need to find another 99 sofas <laughs> <laughs> come on go to your friends you know start going start spending nights at your friends places or i think you can even get a 50 cent coin if you go to, I don't know, Ikea. What? And you sit in the sofas. <laughs> yeah, maybe people drop there. So you can go 50 to... 50 cent coins? <laughs> those are hard to find, Danny, no, in the US. No, quarters. Oh, they're 25. Quarters. Yeah, Qu those are 25. Oh, 50 cent is the thing. Yeah, yeah. 50 cent. Five cents. I think those exist, but I think <laughs> those are hard to find. I, again, me again with my Gloria. Pretty Gloria moments. Moment. Yeah. Um, Grace and Joy says, I'm so excited for the book. Thank we are too. Thank you. Yeah, we are. We are super excited. I'm psyched to get started with the, um, with the, with the portraits. Production. Yeah. With the, well, with the production and the portraits. Yes. I'm super, super excited. And, you know, we've spoken about this, but it is, we can't get started before we know the final number. So, we it's it's wise to wait. Alisa Brod Broderer said, "LOL, moving from one IKEA sofa to another. I like that plan. That that would be the way I get the money 
for a book. Except we don't have we IKEA don't have stores Ikea. here. That would but be the way. That's why I said that. <laughs> and Alisa also said, looking forward to my Madonna painting. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I mean, I'll paint the crap out of Madonna if I have to. If Will I have to? William Felipe Of course I'll do like a, you know, um, Warhol worthy Madonna. William Felipe is a 50 cent is a rapper. <laughs> oh, si, Jesus si. Christ. Yeah. Sí. Si. But I, I would have to do a Basilitz. That's like a joke. That's like an, that joke has layers. Because 50 cent, what was the last time you saw 50 cent? Think about it, Danny, because we saw it. In the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. And how was he? Old. <laughs> <laughs> but how was he at the beginning when he started singing? Uh, upside down. Upside down. And what does Basilitz do? George Basilitz paints upside down mm -hmm. paintings. So again, that was a very nerdy, but I think super good. I thought you were going to say another thing. Like oh, he come on. It had down, layers. Layers so he, means more than no, one. I, was, I it thought wasn't you like were 30 say layers. Like, I'm not talking he like... He was upside down, so he... Oh, uh, like there were so many cents that came out of his pockets that there were. Oh no! Don't cents on okay. The floor. Start. Don't ruin it. But it was good. <laughs> it was actually a joke. super good comment. Did you Did you listen to what I said? Yeah, it was it terrible. Was a good joke. No, it, it was, was actually terrible. Why would he have change in his pockets like right before the Super Bowl? Why wouldn't <laughs> like halftime? I mean, I like, think he had enough to buy our book. <laughs> I don't so. know. I didn't he wait? Didn't he went go bankrupt at some point? I think. Well, not now. I mean, if he was singing at the Super Bowl. I don't know if they... They paid. I'm, I guess they get paid, right? Of yeah. course. Let's see. So. How much he got paid? Yeah. Mm, let's see. So... It is Eminem, Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, Dr. Dre. Dre. Okay, so everyone that was there. Yeah. Uh, ¿Qué es esto? No, wait, wait. Cause I love how you start to answer because you're reading a story and you never know <laughs> where that story <laughs> is going. Mm. Mm, wait. Didn't you find like how much did 50 Cent get paid for the <gasps> Super Bowl? Because there's a an article that says why blah 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 all the all the singers yeah didn't get paid for their Super Bowl. Yeah, you sometimes that's why I said it's not like I wasn't joking. Sometimes they don't get paid. Like I mean, it's the biggest commercial. Like I'm sure that them being there reflects on tons of you know money coming out from elsewhere but they don't have to pay them <gasps> what yeah it is however not only did these five artists not make a dime for their super bowl appearance but none of the halftime show performers of the past made money from it either what yeah 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 that's that's you know i mean it's sad it's just, they just pay because it's like the worst like exposure you know um uh pretext that they give a lot of artists you know regardless of of what they do like whatever creative um uh, process that they do um which is crap it's like hey do this with us you'll get the exposure it's like i mean yeah, F we as i artists, can't pay with exposure my rent we as artists know a lot of that yeah yeah so that's bs yeah but this is like the biggest exposure or, or one of the in biggest the exposures States, in the in least. the world it, yeah yeah it doesn't compare to like fifa halftime or fifa yeah. final you know whatever they no, do but the but, super bowl is like an event oh for the u.s so. yes for sure yeah um yeah, it says the NFL policy is to cover all the co costs of related I'm, I'm of guessing. the production. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, That's yeah, 50 Cent didn't have enough. Didn't make a dime. That's actually kind of nice. For a book. So you can't <laughs> buy. 
So we can paint somebody. Somebody uh, wants somebody can have f- us paint fifty cent, but um, he couldn't afford it. Callum said, "No, he bought and sold vitamin water to Coca Cola for like fifty million or something." What? Oh, right. Was he the owner of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's a is that a thing elsewhere but the U.S. Because I've never seen vitamin water here. I mean, I'm guessing there's there's alternatives to that like there's products that are like the same yeah no but i was gonna say that in the united states that's like a thing it's like saying not like saying coca-cola but it's like a a very known brand i guess yeah not here i always see it in like delis and airports and that's about it Mm, no i do i mean it's not part of my world so let's see 50 cent net worth but remember that's what they that's i mean net worth is weird yeah and it says at his peak before bankruptcy oh but see he, 50 he did cent go bankrupt fortune topped a yeah. uh, hundred million dollars yeah but yeah but i and remember now it yeah. says that uh he has 30 million dollars oh okay i mean he bounced that's back. not and that's not bankrupt I mean, thirty no, no, million dollars. No. But I remember. I remember. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's somebody here that knows more about this than us. But I remember that he he lost his money for sure. It's probably the video games. No, él se dice sí, sí, sí. Esto es lo que acabamos de decir. Dice, o sea, que Fifty Cent no puede comprar el libro porque no le pagaron. Sí. Ni un centavo. Um. Richard Williams said, with the Super Bowl being as big as it is, it's a mega exposure opportunity for the musicians because after that, they get appearances on other shows and possible reigniting of their careers. Oh, yeah, That's what I think anyway. Or if they're having like a concert tour. Oh, yeah, that's like, you know, the best, best advertising you you can not pay for. Van Sant said, you're going to have some hard times ahead. Do the book, paint a hundred Madonnas, and then <laughs> keep the project alive. Uh, Callum said, does anyone want to buy some paintings? I have a Kickstarter to back. <laughs> mm. Callum said, I swear people make more money from going bankrupt. It seems suspect suspect to me. Yeah. Suspicious, yeah. Mm. I mean, rich people that go bankrupt. Because real people that go bankrupt, oh, yeah. they go bankrupt. End of the story. Yeah. yeah. Uh, William Felipe dice, pero yo siento que ellos no necesitan exposure, ¿no? Todo el mundo los conoce, de pronto aman tanto el fútbol que lo hacen gratis. No, pero Dre no hacía presentaciones hace yo no sé cuántos no, años. No, y pues 50 Cent. Y o 50 sea, Cent hace 50 Cent muchísimo tiempo. 50 Cent era grande cuando tiempo. era VH1 y MTV. Sí. Yo creo que o el sea, más activo ahí era como Snoop Dogg. Que es, sí, sí, el, sí como pues que activo siempre. siempre. Él no para de Pero sí, Eminem, y... yo no veía a Eminem hace siglos. No, y hay una razón por la que terminan cantando todo lo que cantaron hace 15 años. Uh-huh. O sea, mm. todavía la gente se acuerda de ellos, es por eso. Eh, es Krakow? Said, so looking forward to holding your book in my hands. Oh, that's awesome. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Urs Krakow. How I do you say it? Per- How do you spell it? Yeah. R S K R A K A U. Urs Krakow. Urs Krakow. It sounds like a. Like Krakow, no? Or like Krakow. I thought they were Polish, maybe. Oh. Maybe they can tell us. Maybe they, yeah, they are maybe. Polish. Yeah, maybe. I thought it was, yeah, like Krakow. William Felipe dice, bueno, si es cierto, seguro era para reactivarse. Claro. 
Pues claro, porque hace que todo el mundo vuelva a hablar de ellos. Sí. Entonces... <laughs> Jeff Avila was asking... If I want you to paint the Jonas Brothers, oh my God, don't do I have to buy three books? <laughs> oh my God, that's painful. Um, oh wow. <laughs> um, You're gonna be painting a oh, Maluma wow. a lot, yeah. Nicolas. Oh, that I can't think of a worse example than that, Jeff. The Jonas thank Brothers. You. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> And by the way, you dated yourself because that's me. That's my, you know, I would say that that would be an example that I would say. You know, you didn't go with like, so if I wanted like uh, BTS or something like that. Uh, no, you went with Jonas Brothers. But they're not that old. No. They were my generation. Yeah. I, th I guess he could have said the Hansons. The I Hansen wouldn't get that. No? No. Oh, I'm sure you heard that song. Oh, no, what is that? No, the the kids, they were super young. Oh my, don't make me sing it. Please don't make me sing it. I, I really don't want to. Hanson. Or Hanson. That Hanson. Was Hanson? Son, I mean, son, son. Yeah, I mean, come on. The, yeah, no, but that's totally fine. Not they knowing. were a band. They were a band. Yeah, that's very sad. Yes. No, but yeah, but uh, the one that I was singing is from them. Yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah. They had like one song. No. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't. It was Jesse McCartney. <laughs> okay, that I have no idea who it is. Uh, you know who he is. No. Look. He was an actor. I don't know. Who wait, 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 wait. Yeah, wait. but I'm looking at the picture. I have no clue who no, that person is. No, if is. I see him now, I have no idea who he is. But he was like this. Look. I have double, <laughs> no, <laughs> twice the no idea who he no? is. No, like this. He's a blonde kid, like any blonde kid. Uh, okay. Any. Like if I was without my glasses, I think he looks like Justin Timberlake. Like from this, from this distance, I would have said Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Oh, my God. I've never seen such a generic blonde in my life. Mm. <laughs> so I think people are uh, singing. Kiss Callum Do said, Mbop. Mbop. That's, and, oh, my God. Uh, Callum also said, Dab, Dab, Do Bop. Oh, and stop it. Robin said, Do Wop. <laughs> and Richard said, Sing it, sing it. I'm not and singing Roslyn that crap. And said, mm, Bob. Yeah, I'm not singing that crap. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Oh, you've heard that song. No. Oh, come on. We can't do that. Well, put the headphones and you can, because if no, we do I it. I hear it here. In the phone. Yeah, because YouTube is like, oh my God. I, I wish their, their algorithm was as, as uh, diligent with like other stuff as they are with like music, but. You've heard this song. It's like, it was such a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was such like a, a bad popular song. I listened song. to a second, and I know I've heard it. You have already know. Yeah, you know. I don't think it's bad. <laughs> well, I mean, it was huge, which, which was the saddest thing. Like on, what was that, 96 or 97? Whatever it was, it was terrible. I think it was good. Mmm... Callum said, it is a certified banger. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, Wyatt Thompson said, just got money from my school for quote-unquote COVID relief. So finally pulled the trigger and backed the book. What? Still going to an artist who worked through COVID, just not me. What? Okay, oh, that's super you, cool. Wyatt. I mean, you don't yeah. have to use your COVID stuff for for our book, though. That was hard earned money. Yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, that, you can that's go super to cool. the IKEAs to search for the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead, because yeah, it's it's so sweet that you yeah, decided you to buy the book. Yeah, you don't have to use that book. money. No, like use it for yourself for something, whatever. It doesn't matter. We use it for taxes, by the way, which is like the lamest thing to use it for but but it's know. a 
It was good. Good thing. I mean, yeah, it felt good not to pay taxes. So. And by the way... I mean, to pay taxes with that money. Your United States COVID relief, because here we didn't have Oh, COVID well, there's relief. relief here that is like... No, but we, we egregious. did Egregious. I mean, it is ridiculous. Yeah. But we don't even have access to that. Uh, and it's... Uh, I mean, this is fine. This is completely fine. It's only for um, the people that really need it. But, it's and, also but it is laughable, a, yeah. the amount of money that they that our country gave to um, to the people that really needed it. Gray Jiménez dice, buenas tardes. Se va viendo muy, muy bonita esa pintura. Eh, gracias, Gray. Muy amable. Eh... Uh, Alisa Brotherer said their sales can soar afterwards, though. I think when J-Lo and Shakira did it, they had somewhere in the ballpark of a thousand percent sales increase after performing. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. isn't it? And Shakira was like singing songs from like... Oh, I thought ago. you were going to say did, like, that waka she did waka. a weird like uh, <laughs> tongue. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, no, no. Let's not make, you know... Let's not be disrespectful. No, no, no. It was a weird face to the camera. But yeah, she was yeah, like super near the camera. Because that's like a super cool thing. That's part of her culture. I think she's um, uh, Syria, Syrian Lib Lebanese. Mm -hmm. And that's like super, super cool. And it was Colombia. just funny. It was just funny. It was just like a funny. It, it was like unexpected. It was very like, unexpected. She was totally committed. She, and was, she was like, like right in front of the camera. Yeah, that's the cool part. So she it was, was just like, funny. I mean, but we're not making fun of like no, of you know, what no. it means for her culture. That was like super cool. But it was just a little funny. Like if it was something, if it had something to do with like our Colombian culture and she did it like right in front of the camera. We would also make fun of it. Like, we would say, okay, that was, that's us, but that was funny. So let's not lose our, our ability to just say, okay, that was funny. Mm. Callum said, I don't know. If you have ever read Shakira's lyrics, they are bizarre. Um, I, I really like Shakira. And the beginnings of Shakira, like the Spanish songs. Yeah, there's like an... They're so... Good. Yeah, there's like um, two albums, I guess. Pies Descalzos? Yeah, that are... Antología? Yeah, that are... She never um, did English songs for those, I guess. Yeah, because I think... And they're the very they're very good. They're part of our music, I yeah. would say. They're very much like yeah. part of our music. So. And they the lyrics are so good, too. So... Mm. Now I was looking for Shakira's no, songs. No, oh my God. M.M. <laughs> um, M. Berg said, do you recommend framing your artwork to cover it with glass or do you leave it open? It, both are fine. Both are totally fine, I would say. Like, I don't mind. We have stuff under glass, well, under acrylic. Yeah. Because I think nowadays glass is so heavy. It's also expensive that um, I think newer... Um, frame shops they frame with like um, acrylic, a very yeah. nice acrylic uh, it's very uh, light um, yes it'll scratch more easily but usually like why would a frame th thing that's hanging scratch like get scratched so if you take care of those things um, you know they, they act as glass so I totally don't mind it like for example my, my um, John Paul Leon Batman that I have here, here in yeah. my studio it's under it's under that um, acrylic, and I'm super fine with it. Yeah, I'm, and it looks super good. It looks. It great. doesn't like glare or no, anything. No, no, no. It looks great. I, yeah. I like as a as an artist. Like, yeah, sure. I would love to see like the paper fiber and the ink like blots and all that stuff. But I'm fine. Like, you can kind of see that. So I don't know. Gray Jiménez dice, cada vez que uno escucha su nombre en los en vivo es como estar en la radio. Saludos a mi novia Irene que me está escuchando. ¿Qué? <risa> Mando saludos de radio. Saludos claro. Irene. Saludos a Irene que la quieren mucho. Que la quiere Gray mucho. Sí, que la, que quiere la Grey. piensa mucho. Siempre. <risa> y que por favor lo perdone. <risa> Usted sabe que estamos hablando Gray. 
Cody Winicky said, acrylic can also collect dust easier sometimes. Does it? Because I don't think in our case that I mean, it happened. I think the ones that we have framed are fine. I think there's dust like in the frame, but not in the acrylic. Like on like, top of the uh, wooden frames. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. M.M. Burke was saying... M.M. Burke 00, I'm sorry. Yeah, please. Was saying, thank you for the recommendation of the framing. No, thank you for your support. <laughs> I was like, why don't you say anything? What? <laughs> say something. Yeah. I thought you were going to say like, oh, you're welcome. And you just like paused. So it's hard. It's hard for me sometimes when I'm painting, not, not to say thank you, but when I'm painting, it's just like my brain, like my one brain cell is just doing that brushstroke. Yeah. And it's super hard to just say, oh, stop, stop and say this. That's why I, I have to stop to like when I'm committed to saying something i i kind of have to stop painting yeah. it's very difficult sometimes i noticed that because you said it's hard to say thank you and you had to say you're welcome not thank you but yeah yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> no no i'm joking i'm sorry don't hit me <laughs> um, margo delgado dice estoy volviendo a trabajar en un cuadro acabado hace unos años sí. que visito ahora no me convence ¿Qué opinan de retomar obra, entre comillas, acabada? Está bien, sí, eso no, no pasa claro. nada. Yo, yo no lo volvería... Bueno, o sea, uno puede hacer lo que se le dé la gana, la verdad. Porque pues, si son imágenes de uno, pues, pues uno hace lo que quiere y ya. Pero también siento que es súper complejo porque uno siempre puede volver y siempre... Uh -huh. O sea, con el paso del tiempo uno cambia, entonces también la percepción que uno tenía de lo que uno hizo cambia. Entonces, todas esas se vuelven como excusas para volver a trabajar un poquito y volver a cambiar algo y volver. Entonces, también toca tener cuidado que, que uno no se esté como... como sin darse cuenta o como inadvertidamente uno no esté cayendo en un círculo así vicioso de, de nunca entender algo como resuelto, porque uno siempre cree que lo puede volver un poquitico mejor y un poquitico mejor y un poquitico mejor, y si uno está trabajando, entonces uno cree que ya ganó como un poco más de experiencia, entonces puede, puede como, eh, esa experiencia puede, puede ayudarle a uno a resolver eh, eso que uno ya había entendido como, como un acto con, eh, concluido, pues uno, uno empieza a entenderlo como, ah, no, puedo tratar de hacer esto otra vez. Entonces, eso también yo creo que es, es, una, es una trampa, entonces, tener un poquito de cuidado con eso, pero, pero obvio uno puede pues, trabajar en, lo, en el trabajo de uno anterior todas las veces que uno quiera. Callum was saying, happy pancake day. <laughs> Is it? If Callum said it, he yeah. just looked at some useless... He didn't look. No, yeah, yeah. He received... I mean, he, he yeah. just blinked he and he, uh, he did that day. search. Yeah. You know how Google used to, I don't know if it does it anymore. Like it used to tell you how long it took it to search for something. Do you remember that? No. That it used to go like, you search for something and it used to go, I don't think anymore. It used to tell you, search results in 0.02 seconds or something like that. No. There was a time where Google did that, used to do that. I don't know how long ago. That, well, I, yeah, I'm saying like Flintstones era. <laughs> Um, when you had to uh, yeah when I was hunting mammoths like you couldn't use the phone when too. I was hunting mammoths and then bringing you know brontosaurus no, you for dinner. It. yeah so what were you going with that just saying that <laughs> you know I'm old <laughs> pancake day oh yeah it's today Na international pancake pancake day or why is pancake day celebrated <laughs> yeah, why, yeah, why at all? According to Historic UK, the term Shrove Tuesday uh, derives from the act of Anglo-Sajon Christians confessing their sins before Lent okay. and thus being shriven of them. But what does this have to do? 
Keep reading, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no, because it has like, like it's a complete article. Oh my god! So tell, ask Callum to give us a um, summary then. Ash Wednesday. Okay, so like it says, Shrov Tuesdays. Okay. Ash Wednesday. It's a uh, tomorrow. Yeah. So, oh yeah, because so it says yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it has to do something with that. Yeah, it says Shrove Tuesday is the day before Ash Wednesday. What's that word? Wednesday. I'm trying to. What's that word? S H R O V pequeña e Shrove. So, Callum, you got to tell us what Shrove is, because I mean, we could search it, but you tell us. Shrove Tuesday. I have no idea what that word is. Is the day before Ash Wednesday, the yeah. first day of Lent. Yeah. Observed Lent. in many Christian countries. Yeah. Through participating in confession and absolution. Um. And where's the pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> See, I love it. You start reading and you're like, Wait, where am I where's going? the pancakes, <laughs> yeah. Mm. You're too trusting of these things, Danny. You have to like, you have to see the answer and then you read it. But you have to see it. Don't just hope that it's going to be there. Oh, I did something. Wait. So... I'm gonna do the easy thing. Ask Callum to explain. So it is. I think pancakes are associated with Shrove Thursday, the day preceding Lent, because they are a way to use up rich foods such as eggs, milk, and sugar before the fasting season of the 40 days of Lent. Yeah. The liturgical fasting emphasizes eating simpler food and refraining from food that would give undue pleasure in many cultures this means no meat for us and no dairy products no or eggs no in Newfoundland, Newfoundland Foundland and Cape Verdon Islands small tokens of are frequently cooked in the pancakes tokens like subway tokens tokens <laughs> I have That's no idea say. what that is Children take delight in discovering the objects, oh, okay, which are intended to be divinatory. For example, the person who receives a coin will be a wealthy. A nail indicates that they're gonna become a Mary or Married? a carpenter. Okay. A nail. Imagine that. Yeah. And the other I was type gonna be a nail? carpenter, but I died. The other type. Because of I nail. swallowed it. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> shrub. <laughs> I'm happy that you. Yeah, not a fingernail. I think you were going with the fingernail. Now I was thing. gonna do a joke with that. Like, yeah. if you get the other type of nail, you're gonna work. You're gonna that. have a horrible life. Mm. Rosalind said it is also National Pig Day. What? <laughs> <laughs> National Pig Day. Callum said we make pancakes because it uses up the tables. In your cupboard before fasting for Lent. I have no idea why it's called shrub. I'm just here for the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> but it it sounds like the Mexican tradition of the... What? That they put like the baby toy in okay. the... Okay, okay. In the, it's like a kind of pastry. Yeah, but I mean nails. Again, nails. Yeah, that's kind of nasty. I mean, imagine... Getting a nail. I mean, everything is in touch with the nail. And you're eating it. I'm just thinking of swallowing it. And you die. Yeah. You died because of lint. Mm. Hustle Bonnet said, Google still tells you the speed of results under your search. Oh, see, Danny? Told you. Yeah. Yeah. You did. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Danny doesn't care. Cody Winnicky yeah, said. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you yeah, did. You did. Good me. for you. I remember you. Good me. for you. <laughs> um, Cody Winnicky said, I'm glad Nicholas said that. When I heard nail in the pancake, I thought that sounded really dangerous. Yeah, it sounds terrible. That doesn't make sense. That's like absolutely absurd. Um, Wishlist011 said, Then after you get the token on Shrove Tuesday, you are all set for dentist Thursday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for X-ray yeah. X-ray Thursday and <laughs> surgery Friday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Rosalind said, celebrated the smart little domesticated pig. A holiday for pigs. LOL. <laughs> Callum said, Gal I have no idea how to read this. Go. Galet de Galet Roy. Morales. <laughs> Galet de Roy. Gadget de Roy. No, I have oh no idea. Oh my God, go. Is what you have in France on Epiphany with a little token in it of a king. What? I have no idea. No, I think th somebody threw water at Callum. Again, Callum is missing Callum, oil. Callum, I think your comment is full of sparks. Galette de Roy. Yeah. De, de Roy. Roy. Galette, gadget de Roy. Is gadget it or, de Roy. Is it R-O-I-X? Gadgete <laughs> de Roy. R -O -I. Okay, let's go. So, with gadget de Roy. De Roy. De, de Roy. Roy. Gadget de Roy. I, I think, um, Van Sant, if, if, if you're listening... <laughs> Before you have a heart attack with uh, what we're Gage doing to uh, your language. Yeah, help us out here. So that thing. That thing? No. So what that. It's like somebody's name. No, no, no. That that we don't know that how to thing. pronounce. It's probably no, somebody's Gage grandmother. Gage that Gage thing. thing. No, it says. So Callum said it means king's cake. Oh, okay. So gadget de roll. I mean, de gadget de is probably gadget. Gadget. Gadget de roll. Is what. You have in France an epiphany with the little token in it of a king. Wow. What's epiphany? A celebration. But I, I, of, I, I'm guessing religious, yeah? I mm -hmm. mean, and this coming from us, that we are a deeply Christian country. <laughs> My mom would be offended. But I don't know if she knows what gadget de Roy. No, <laughs> not that, but Epiphany for sure. Yeah, but if it's a religious thing, she knows it. Epiphany? Who had an Epiphany? Epiphany Jesus. holiday. I guess Jesus had an Epiphany, right? January 6th, it says Epiphany 2023 in Colombia. What? Friday, January 6th, public holiday. Monday, January 9th. So I mean, yeah, we, ha we have... Oh, we celebrate? That's a national holiday? Oh, yeah. Um, you go, Epiphany. <laughs> Epiphany is a Christian holiday primarily commemorating the Maggie's visit to the baby Jesus. Oh, that's like... Oh, my God. That's... It's El Dia Reyes. Ah, Reyes. Oh, stop. Yeah, we know. Oh, come on. I was is super that lost with Maggie's. I was like, who's Maggie? Oh, no, it's called... <laughs> it, you say it Magi. Mag Ma Magi. Ma okay. Magi. Reyes Magos. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Reyes. Okay, yeah, come on. Epiphany? What the yeah. hell is that? And they celebrated with a token, token of a king. Because I'm guessing all of them brought gifts, so... You know, baby Jesus had to like. But you spit, should get a token with incienso mirayoro. Yeah, in, in, in baby Jesus was eating eating like a cake and spitting incense. It's like, oh, thank you for that. Terrible <laughs> joke, Nicolas. Thank you for that. I almost choked with the uh, mirror. Oh no, mi amore oh. said. Okay, I just came back due to insomnia. Yay. Okay. Update, it's 2.15 a.m. now. No, You got your test. Go and back to sleep. You have a sleep. test, yeah. What are you doing? Um, Callum said, yeah, so Epiphany is when the three wise men visited Jesus. 12th yeah. night. Yeah, we call it the Reyes. Yeah. But no, not Epiphany. Well, I'm, gu I'm guessing, in, you know... I mean, what are we doing here with Bible things, Manny, <laughs> both you and me? Come on. Yeah. We Let's not. Let's just uh, sit this one out. I, uh, I know the Bible because of school, because I did go to, to a religious school, and because of art. But that's yeah. about it. Mm, Callum said, well, the token is put in the cake, and whoever gets the token in their slice is the king for the day. And everyone has to do what they say. Off Ooh, with their heads. Cool. <laughs> yeah. But it, I think it's similar to the thing, in like the tradition in, in Mexico. In, me in Mexico, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mi Amore said, my test is at 1 p.m. tomorrow, so no big deal. Well. I mean, get some rest. be like zombie. Yeah. And um, have you started? I think they spent the night studying for sure. Mm. 
Marjan Caviani. Mm. Marian Caviani, maybe. Yeah. Was saying, do you use black in your paintings? Oh. I know some artists say not to use black. Oh, What are your thoughts on that? Well, this is a Zorn palette, so... It has black, yeah. That I think that encompasses my thoughts, that it's ridiculous when somebody says, don't use black. It just doesn't make sense. Didi said, Nicolas, are you excited for the Batman movie? Yeah, we, I, are. we just we got tickets. tickets. We got tickets for Saturday. Because yeah. I've... I, I, I haven't um, um, listened to any reviews, but I saw the scores. So, and it's no doing, spoilers. It's doing amazing. No, 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 no. No, 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 for people. I was asking people to. Oh, yeah, please. They have read something. Yeah, 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 something. don't. But I think people are saying it's a good movie. It's like a genuinely good movie. So I'm super excited. Mm. Mi Amore said, I have studied. It's easy, LOL, just two lessons slash chapters. So now I'm doing math. Mathematics. Oof. Mm. So maybe in about two minutes I have to go. Oh, for uh, Fer? Yeah. Thank you, Lindita. Uh, no. Lindita. You're welcome, Kakiro. Or as my mom would say. Caquita. Then thank you. Grace and Joy said, I worked at a bakery. Mm -hmm. Someone ordered 50 king cakes. It took like three hours to complete the decoration. Was <laughs> it 50 cent? <laughs> it would be cool. I mean, humor is bad today. So let's let's just go with it. And you don't it. get a token, it. but a 50 cent. Oh, no, Danny. Why? Why would you <laughs> go there? And then you can buy the book. Oh, Danny. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. It's like the rosca. Look, like this is the king cake. Oh, so it's like a Mexican. Yeah. It's like oh. exactly. Look, it even has the baby. The 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 baby that the Mexicans put there. Don't Spanish people do that also? I, I have no idea. I think so. I, I say think. Mexicans because I know there's that tradition. Because yeah. we don't have it here in Colombia. We but, don't, no. But I think it's super cool. I would be super happy to... Eat the whole thing. To find the baby toy yeah. there. And eat the whole thing. Um... Uh, Do you want to go down to... Um, so, wait. Um, so, I'm going to read maybe a question. Okay. And I'll disregard it. I'll talk about something else. Uh, I don't see. So, Callum was saying, I know a lot of people to use chromatic blacks over ivory, which I have kind of lent towards, i.e. black mix with some blue or red. It's not a question, but it's what I read. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> yeah, thank you. That was my choice. Um, I don't, I don't know, Callum. I don't know about that uh, specifically, but um, I have no issue with with black, you know, ivory black pigment. Um, the drying times, maybe drying time is uh, is a little unforgiving because it takes a long time for it to dry. But aside from that, and to be stable, I think a lot of issues. Uh, when people were, were painting with black, um, would show up because they didn't have the patience for black to like really set in. And they were painting on top of black with a faster drying pigment. And, um, and the black ended up having, ended up making everything that was on top cra uh, cracking. Uh, but aside from that, I, I just, I don't have any issues. I think it's a gorgeous color. I think it's an amazing, amazing color. It's beautiful absolutely beautiful but the thing is i think of it as a color because i don't think of it as just um shades as a, as a color that is as a pigment that is used for making shades uh what shades means if, if you're not familiar with that it's just taking a color any other color in your palette any other hue in your palette let's be like super specific and mixing it with um black to make it darker which is a very archaic way of thinking about black if i have to be honest i, I think that I particularly believe that that is like the most reductive way you could think of black in the same sense that it is very reductive to think about white, titanium white, as a pigment that its sole purpose is to make something lighter. I think that a problem, the problem usually arises when, when we think of these colors as being limited, the, the, the problem is usually rooted in the use that we impose onto that color. 
And the use has to do with that. We think that white is made for tinting a color and, and black is made for shading a color, which is, com I mean, it's fine, but that's not that their use. Their use is like, as you know, they should be used as you use any other pigment in your palette. So, yeah. So I don't, I don't really see, there's no way I would see black as being limited or there's no way I could say, Oh, yeah, it is cool, but you have to mix it. What? I think I kicked the... Oh, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. I don't know if it was when I went out. Maybe, maybe. Okay, it's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, it's, no, this. no, it's okay. It's um, okay. You can turn the uh, camera off okay, if you want. I'm going to do that. I'll keep talking. <laughs> so, it would be awesome if I, uh, when we turned it back on, that the... Um... Oh, I thought you were going to turn this one off. Okay, no, that's oh, fine. Mine too, I'm gonna, mine too. Yeah. So as I was saying, you know, for me, it's kind of weird to hear somebody say, "Yeah, I just have to like uh, put some some sort of hue in it, um, so that it's um, serviceable." Let's say, because I, you know, there's, I find it serviceable as is. Like, there, I I don't find anything wrong with it. It would be like saying. Oh, I use cad red, but I always have to put some blue into it because it kind of bothers me. I would be like, so why use cad red then? Use something else that you don't have to be worried with altering. Like there's so many pigments out there. Don't use one that you have to alter just to use it. Like if you're going to use it. Okay, but so I can't talk. Should I stop talking? No, you can talk. No, you don't have to turn it off. Oh, that's fine. Do that. Do do all that stuff while we are live. That's fine. Are we good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who cares? Like, it's a little kick, a little shove. I think it was maybe when I came. Or maybe it was me. I have to fit the chair like in a specific way because the oh, okay. wheels sometimes kick the tripod. Okay. So my bad, my bad. No, nah, it's totally but We're good. And you can see some kind of uh, behind the scenes. Yeah. Of How the uh, sausage is made. <laughs> How the king's um, cake Die. is made. It's made. It's made. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Mm. William Felipe dice, pero creo que el que saca el muñequito le toca gastar los tamales al otro día, ¿no? We ni idea. Oh, ya está, ya no llegamos. Sí, ni idea. No, pues eh, ese, esa noche, por eso es que uno de colombiano entonces hace eso la última noche. Y uno se va y no tiene que... Bueno, ya, gracias. Uy, qué mal chiste. Pues era un plan. No, que no sé cómo reaccionar. Roslyn said, black is such a useful color, in my opinion. Oh, I think you use it wonderfully, Roslyn. I've seen you use it in so many of your paintings. I think you use it super, super well. And uh, Callum said, the way I use it is I find chromatic blacks look darker. So it lets you go ivory black plus half a value which can be useful in some places. What? Although, I'm going to say, I'm going to interrupt you there, um, Callum. Darker than ivory black? Ivory black is like as dark as you can go in terms of value. So I, maybe I misunderstood, but you can't really go darker than ivory black. That is a value zero. Uh, it's like raw umber is a value zero. Uh, Prussian blue is a value zero. Doesn't matter how like uh, bright they look or how saturated they look, they are value zeros, a hundred percent. Like these are same value, same value. So I don't, I don't. Maybe I didn't understand it. So forgive me if I just misunderstood what you were saying. Mm, Marianne Caviani said, "Do you have plans to work on bigger surfaces in the future?" Yes, yes, I do. But I mean, I've, I've, I'm thinking about this. Like I've, I've been giving this a lot of thought, and um, 
I'm going to say yes for now, but I'm not going to feel guilty if it's not as big as people want it to be. I'm mm-hmm. going to say that. I'm going to leave it at that. I like that. Mm. Richard Williams said, I use either ivory black or I make a black from burnt sienna and Prussian blue. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's a dark. I would call it a dark. I don't know if I would call it a black. I would call it a dark. Callum's you know what my oh. favorite dark is? What? Uh, when I'm not the using series? ivory black. The no, when series. I'm not using... Oh, oh my God, Danny. <laughs> we are dying here today. <laughs> Now, when I'm not using ivory black, I usually use um, raw umber or before years ago, I used to I used burnt umber, but raw umber, ultramarine blue and alizarin. And that's a beautiful velvety color. It's super, super nice. I wouldn't say it replaces black. I would never say that, but I'd say it's a nice alternative to a dark to a very dark color. Callum said, try it, put ivory black and then mix a little ultramarine in and put it next to it maybe it's just my eyes yeah uh-huh. i think so callum i mean maybe you have like incredible oh i mean i'm talking to callum Bravo he has like, callum, a, like yeah. a spectrometer built in <laughs> to his like eyes um yeah i mean look at ivory black that's dude don't o- overcomplicate it like th- there's no reason to overcomplicate this that is a value zero like fundamentally essentially value zero like easy peasy don't don't think of it as like anything weirder than that Mm. i mean if your eyesight can spot like the tiniest tiniest variation in in value that's amazing but to paint even like a 10 value scale is pretty broad you can actually do paintings with a far smaller value scale so think about that William Felipe dice, lo que he escuchado es no usar negro puro, pero no sé por qué. El negro no existe en las cosas reales. What? O sea, se está preguntando. Ah, no, no, no. Es que toda esa, toda, digamos que toda esa concepción súper errada acerca del negro, porque piense que el negro se usó en el Renacimiento, en el Renacimiento Alto. Eh, o sea, bueno, en el Medioevo, en el, no, me, perdón, en las cuevas de Lascaux, o sea... El, el negro es de los pigmentos más antiguos que existen y que ha utilizado el ser humano. Pero digamos, en lo que compete a la pintura. Entonces, se usó en el Renacimiento, en el Renacimiento Alto, en el Barroco, se usó en el Romanticismo, se usó en el Neoclasicismo, se usó en la Academia. Lo que pasa es que cuando, eh, en la historia de la pintura así súper eurocéntrica, cuando la teoría de color se vuelca hacia el impresionismo, como existía esta noción súper tonta de que esa, esa manera de entender color era una filosofía que se utilizaba dentro del taller, pero nunca afuera. Entonces las personas empezaron a decir, no, es que el negro no existe en la naturaleza porque la sombra, y aquí es donde existe ese primer como impasse, o sea, el negro no quiere decir sombra, o sea, es una tontería. Cuando uno habla cromáticamente, asociar el negro a sombra ya es como una pifia, o sea, ya ahí uno está diciendo... ¿Yo por qué asocio negro con sombra? No tiene nada que ver. Es, el negro es un color oscuro, pero no por ser oscuro lo tengo que asociar con sombra. Entonces, la teoría impresionista decía, es que las sombras no tienen negro, tienen es muchísimos matices. Y uno decía, no, pues bueno, pero es que el negro también puede ser un matiz súper lindo. O sea, eso no tiene nada que ver con nada. Entonces, ahí empezaron como a demonizar el uso del negro. que Porque cuando uno salía a pintar, cuando el pintor eh, eventualmente sale a la naturaleza a pintar y tiene la opción de salir con sus vejiguitas llenas de pigmento, o sea, de tubitos llenos de color, eh, pues entonces ya puede tener esa experiencia, digamos, uno a uno, presencial, enfrente de la naturaleza. Y ahí es donde empieza como esa pseudo filosofía, porque además todas esas filosofías de color que salen del, renac... de, del impresionismo, discúlpeme, son súper esotéricas, son unas cosas rarísimas, rarísimas. O sea, había colores que ellos asociaban con sentimientos. O sea, ¿qué? ¿Qué pitos es eso? Eso no quiere decir nada. Entonces, eh, no, t- nosotros tristemente, porque es muy triste, en vez de mirar como integralmente la historia del color y la historia de la pintura, que, digamos que van de la mano, eh, nos centramos todavía, aún hoy tenemos como 
todo eso rezagado de la historia de hace 100 años de, de, la, de la teoría del color del, eh, del impresionismo. Pero por eso es que son ideas tan estúpidas. O sea, eh, Mencel que estaba pintando, Adolf Mencel que estaba pintando, al finales del siglo XX, al finales del siglo XIX, perdón, comienzos del XX, usó negro todo el tiempo. Todo el tiempo. Y era un pintor maravilloso. O sea, era un pintor monstruo. Entonces no tiene nada que ver con nada. Nada que ver con nada. La pintura española, usted quita el negro de la paleta y no existe la pintura española. No existe. Deja de existir. O sea, toda la historia de la pintura española deja de, de, deja de existir. Entonces, no, hay veces somos súper ignorantes. Yo de verdad desconfiaría inmediatamente de un profesor que dice, no, no, no use negro, el negro no, ay, chao, ¿por qué? O, o más bien, no, sean canzones y digan, ¿y por qué? ¿y por qué? Y, y cuestionen a esa persona hasta que se den cuenta que de pronto la persona no tiene idea de lo que está diciendo. Um, Callum said, that is actually a question I wanted to ask you. Yes. I want to do a painting with a closed value scale. Yes. And awesome. I don't really know where to start. Um, well, picking a value range. That would be the first step. So, baby steps. Because picking a value range, so meaning where in the value scale you want to place yourself, you want your painting to be, that already says a lot about your painting. Because ideally, not every single image should accommodate itself, you know, you can't force it, oh, well, well, you could brute force it to be in any area of the palette, but ideally it should make sense. So think about that, that it should make sense where in the, uh, like in the, in the uh, shortened range of the value scale you want to place it, should, th there should be a reason for it, like a nice valid reason for that, at least for you. I'm not saying like you have to justify it to other people, but At least for you and your intent, there should be like a, a reason for that. Wishlist 011 yeah. said, fits in, with what I, fits in with what I'd like to ask. I always seem to go for a high contrast painting because I can't seem to get the impact with a close value range. Um, but what do you, why do you associate contrast with impact? Like... I've seen uh, Carrier paintings, uh, Eugene Carrier paintings, that are some of the most impactful images that I've ever seen that reside in a very limited value range. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't use, I know that they, they seem to be just words, but I wouldn't use the word impact when referring to contrast. Contrast is great. I mean, our eyes love it. We, are, we as human beings are meant to, like we are built to love contrast, love it. But my son just yelled. He's playing FIFA or something, but he just yelled. Um, but that doesn't mean that that's the only thing that can be moving to us. Not at all. I find atmosphere, very heavy atmosphere, like it moves me and it buckles my knees. But I wouldn't say that that's less impactful. So, Sheka said, glad I managed to catch the stream, loving the atmosphere in the painting. Thank you. Mi amore said, I want to start painting after my exams as well, but I don't know anything about it. Like, literally nothing. Any tips? Um, start simple. You know, as with anything in life, just start something super, super simple. You can start with two colors, black and white, and just get mm -hmm. the feel for painting. So, painting is not a thing that you, can, that you can only start doing with, like, a ton of education. Don't worry. Like, just start very, very simple. Black and white, all you're looking at is values. Values means how light or dark something is, which is like one of the building stones of image making. So if you start with that, wonderful. You're really, really, you know, really in the right track, in a good, good track. So I was trying to look on past comments. Yeah. And Hannah was saying, I finally received my first moleskin today guys nice i can say it felt really weird painting in unprimed surface but love the final result oh cool cool i mean the I, i'm gonna say something like the objective in all of this is not to make people just paint on paper just because because there's nothing good or bad like inherently good or bad in painting with paper it is cheaper by the way you don't have to buy primer you don't have to buy gesso you don't have to put like um Um, some sort of ground. You don't have to tint your ground, tone your ground. So, um, so it, in many ways, you can just kind of like um, uh, 
forgo those steps and, and just do something that's essentially a lot simpler, but that doesn't mean that's the only way to paint. Like I would also suggest to people to go to the art store and buy a scrap. You can buy scraps of like pre-primed linen, for example, that they would cost you like maybe 10, bu 10 bucks or, you know, 10 quid, 15 quid and do a painting there also. Quid? Quid is pounds. Do you know that? Like, oh, no, I yeah, had yeah, no yeah. idea. Yeah, I feel like a proper scouse if I say <laughs> quid. So it's, uh, it's pretty good for me. Flexing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. I mean, it's my people. My people. Uh, so in what sense? And, you know, it, uh, every sense. <laughs> <laughs> in 50 cents? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, just try everything. Try painting on a surface that you're supposed, quote unquote, supposed to paint on. And try painting on a surface that you're not supposed to paint on. And that'll give you like a, a nice understanding of what things are meant to be and how painting is meant to feel like and how and how much you're sacrificing by choosing to paint on, on a surface, on a substrate that you're not supposed to paint on. I think that's maybe the proper way to do it. Mm, again, a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, In a galaxy far away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a question. Yeah. Um, so. So. Rohit Kim Havi was saying, Actu actually, I really wanted some advice. Yes. I've been drawing a lot of figures, but now I feel stuck. I want to draw more, but also I need refreshment. Any advice for me? Um. I mean, wouldn't the simplest be just change subject matter? Yeah. And that's it. Like start painting spaces, objects. That's it. That's it. You know, super easy. Easy peasy. Paint your room, your apartment, your flat, your, you know, your bathroom, your kitchen. Paint the groceries that you just bought. Paint the trash that you throw away. Paint anything. Anything that's not a figure. That's totally fine. If you're kind of like, oh, God, I've had it with portraits, like. Ugh, kill me um which is fine like a lot of people get tired i i wouldn't get tired of portraits like i i there is something magical about like the you know mirroring ourselves through the painting of another human being that's i think that's amazing but you know that's not for everyone so if you feel you're you're being super iterative iterative with that just change your subject matter it's super simple yeah bueno, esto no lo leí en el momento, pero bueno. Alejandro Germánico Benito González dice, según el diccionario, escampar se usa de las dos maneras que comentabais. Ah. Vamos, que los dos tenéis razón. Yo ya puedo dormir tranquilo. Bueno. O sea, sí, ¿sí ves? Grandes los dos, entonces. Grandes y cultos los dos. Todavía dudo un poco. Voy a tener que hacer mi propio no, pero research. Sí, 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 pero... sí, estamos escampando. Bueno. Vamos a escampar en Unicentro, mientras tanto, vamos a, a escampar... Yo utilizaré siempre hasta que escampe. Pues también la uso yo así. Lo que pasa Aparentemente es que yo tengo... no, tú eres de otro... No, 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 lo que pasa es tribu. que mi, mi... Mi tribu dice hasta que no, escampe. No, es que mi vocabulario es un poquito más amplio, quizá. Mm. Entonces, mm. Eh, mm. te entiendo. Mm. Les parece que estás buscando Pero... palabras y no las encuentras <risa> para expresarte. En mi vocabulario en tu amplio. amplio vocabulario. <risa> Cody Winicky said, Today I'm using an old watercolor that I jessoed over. Nice. Also, my first time painting while you paint live. Oh, usually, no way. Awesome. Awesome. Usually, I prefer to watch. But oh, my that's so cool. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but my favorite surface of all Loved time it. Love it. is jessoed cardboard. Nice. Nice. I like that too. And what are you painting, Cody? Uh, Wishlist011 said, I paint on surfaces I'm not supposed to paint on all the time. My wife complains bitterly <laughs> when it's the furniture. Live Bailed Boy dice, Hola, hola, ¿cómo estás, Nico? Ricardo. ¿Cómo estás, Dani? Grande, Qué bueno Ricardo. verlos de nuevo. Abrazos para los dos. Lo mismo. Muchas gracias, lo mismo. Yo A mí me gusta decir por el nombre de usuario siempre. Ah, pero es que es que Ricardo Ricardo es un... O sea, Ricardo... La imagen de Ricardo es súper poderosa. 
Entonces yo a Ricardo lo tengo en la mente... O sea, no voy a decir todo el tiempo, porque eso suena un poquito mal, pero, pero es que si tú me dices, si tú empiezas a decir el, el username, eh, ya lo tengo en la cabeza, o sea, ya. Uh -huh. Entonces, pues tengo que decir, hola Ricardo. Sí. Pero igual de pronto voy a seguir leyendo. Ah, no, 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 sí. O sea, lo me mío, parece chévere. Mi... O sea, igual creo que la gente se pone el usuario por algo. Me parece chévere. Sí, no, no, no. Y, y, y mi reacción no tiene que ser como la, la tuya. Todo bien, todo bien. <risa> todo bien. Todo bien, no vamos a pelear. No vamos eh, a pelear. Cody Winicky said uh, that they were painting just a little portrait of a friend. I will post it on the Discord later. Oh, awesome. Awesome, yeah. Oh, I have to create Danny my... Danny is super active on the Discord. Disc I have to create my Discord. Oh, But you know right. what? I can't create it no. until we go uh, take the measurements of the base... No, that's what? not a What? What are you saying? Remember that we had... Um, What? A apuesta. Okay, bet. A bet. Yeah. yeah. Of? Of the size of the storage unit we have. Storage room we have. Okay, yes, and but bathroom. I mean, you could start... You no, because you, ha you said... Because I'm being super uh, transparent with it. Because yeah. you said that so if I lost... So this is not just an excuse, like a totally I, arbitrary excuse. No, you know... I'm super, like, I can't do things uh, other way. Like, if I say that we're going to do it, we have to do it that way. Yeah. And we said that if like you Danny's were right... Like, super taking care of the uh, TikTok account, for example. If you were right, you could choose my username. Okay. And if you were wrong, you're going to go with me a uh, house hunting. No, so. no. So, I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> I, 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 I never I, said yes to that. Yeah. Just want to make it super clear. William Felipe dice. That Nicolás. Never, never, never said yes to that. Nicolás, después de todos los autorretratos, ¿qué diría que aprendió de usted mismo? Pero yo no me pinto tanto, ¿no? No. Yo pues no. yo nunca me había... Yo nunca había hecho un autorretrato. No, yo sí me he pintado, pero... Sí. Pero... pero ¿Sabes así qué que... autorretrato tuyo me encanta? Dímelo. El de la puerta... Del baño ah, de donde es tu chévere. mamá. Bueno, sí, mentira. O sea, pero ¿qué? ¿Hice qué? ¿Cuatro? ¿Cinco? No, no, de pero yo creo que está hablando por lo de Mías Hulk. Mm. Mías Ah, Hellboy. esos son chéveres. Eh, ¿Qué aprendí así como en resumen? Que me siento cómodo cuando puedo como mm, entenderme a través de un personaje de pronto. O sea, en esos de yo como Hulk o algo así. O sea, suena súper, no sé, no, ni sé cómo suena. O sea, no, tampoco quiero como imponerle un sentido a eso. Pero me ayuda muchísimo a, a verme. Porque me, como que me empiezo a imaginar como un personaje. Como que tengo una, una noción fuera de cuerpo. Como, uh -huh. como que puedo salirme del cuerpo, salirme de mi cabeza que está llena de prejuicios. Y solo ver el potencial que uno puede tener para convertirse en algo... En un personaje ficticio que obviamente puede, ten, puede estar lleno de, 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 no sé, inseguridades y todo, pero uno no las siente tan propias, entonces es súper chévere. Mm, entonces, eso. O sea, así súper resumido diría que eso se me hizo re interesante. Pero no, cosas mías, no sé. O sea, que, que mediante un autorretrato haya, haya, me haya dado cuenta de aspectos míos que de pronto no era, de los que no era consciente. No, no creo. Yo creo que tú y yo nos conocemos bien. Re Voy a decir relativamente bien, por no decir como muy bien, porque de pronto eso suena como exagerado. Pero, pero no, yo creo que, o sea, yo, yo creo que también, por ejemplo, parte de la relación en, de, de Dani y mía funciona porque los dos nos conocemos súper bien. Uh -huh. O sea, nos conocemos a nosotros como mismos. honestamente. Ay, sí. no, madre, perdón. Como perdón, que Dani perdón. ya sabe la persona que yo soy perdón. y yo ya sé la persona que es Dani. Entonces, uh -huh. hay... No quiere decir que uno no, uno no tenga inseguridades, pero, pero incluso nos conocemos las inseguridades. No sé uh -huh. qué te pasó allá. <risa> no sé qué hiciste yo aquí no, abriendo el sí. corazón y tú... <risa> Ay, no, es que dije... Ay, fue madre. No, sí. Es que... Ay, fue madre, habló. Es que el... el ¿Cómo explico? El apoya brazos sí. se puede subir y bajar. Sí. Y con una palanquita. <risa> y esa palanquita se me enredó. Entonces... Mm. O sea, la estaba jalando con el cable. Sí. Entonces, cuando apoyé... No, ya está fatal. Se activó este o sea, y ya se todo bajó. Todo el mundo se durmió. Todo el mundo se durmió. Sí. No importa. El caso es que... 
Estaba muy chévere lo que estabas diciendo. Pues sí, pero hasta que lo mataste con la historia... <risa> con el aigüe madre. La historia del apoyabrazos. No, pero es que sí, tenía que contar igual porque... Uy, se ah. desenfocó la cámara. ¿Qué? No, la chiquita, la webcam. Ah. Hasta la cámara está. Chao. Sí, sí. Gracias. Esta Me historia fui. tan fatal. Bueno, si sí, cortémosla de una vez. Margo Delgado dice, mi Margo. pintura creo que es básicamente contraste. Influye mucho la luz del lugar donde vivo. Mucho sol, el mar, roca volcánica, cielos azules. Mm. Ah, eh, ¿Margo? Sí. Margo es la canaria, ¿no? Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, claro. Uno cómo, no, uno cómo va a vivir en una, en una isla volcánica y no verse afectado por eso, o sea... Pues incluso tú has hablado de eso, como a ti Bogotá, como sí. lo gris que es Bogotá... Siempre me afectó. Afecta, todavía afecta un montón. Sí. Como tu pintura y cómo abordas la pintura. ¿A ti no te pasó que cuando conocimos Menorca, por ejemplo, los verdes y los morados de Menorca en la tierra? Uy, eran muy raros. ¡Rarísimos! Pues yo te... Porque es una isla volcánica sí, también. Sí, yo salí... A hacer una vez un wash, ¿te acuerdas? Sí. Que es como una casita que había. Sí, 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 claro. Fue muy raro, o sea, yo estaba mezclando y yo decía, ¿qué? Sí, o sea, esto yo no es. Esto como es que como... veía los colores, pero mezclándolos me di cuenta de los colores. Qué locura, y son ¿no? son muy distintos a cómo son acá. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, muy loco. Muy bonito. Muy interesante. Gracias por todo, por <ríe> Mm, miremos Tenía unos subrayados Ay, Lo malo es que uno subraya y se van Se va la gente Después de la historia <risa> no, no, Ya se fueron hace rato No, o sea, si subrayo Y bajo porque hay un comentario nuevo Se me desubraya Ya Buen uso de desubrayar eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Con tu amplio vocabulario ¿Cómo se dice? No eh... tengo idea Nico Ray. Mm, Dave B was asking, do you use earth tones in your palette? Um, yeah, I do. Not today, but I'm using yellow ochre uh, today. But because I'm using a Zorn palette, um, I'm shortening the palette considerably. So, but but uh, in a palette that I've been trying out, I use yellow ochre, raw sienna, and this is um, raw umber. So. So, yes, yeah, love earth tones. Love them. Two bits. This is like a super cool, very abstract moment that where the dark of the, what would be the dark of the hair, which would be the same value as the dark of the dress, have to meet. Yeah. So it's a, it's a weird place that I have to make like, choices so that there's a transition between them but not really yeah. it's very strange but it's super cool to try to solve it looks as if she was a ghost yeah it looks very but had like a uh, clothing like actual clothing in yeah i think the idea i wanted was for these for some reason for them to be linked because mm -hmm. if it was just but about feel skin linked. Then it would be that, and then this would be a different contrast, and then the arms again. But I wanted it to be kind of connected, so uh, so it was, it's super interesting. It feels connected. Iván dice, me encanta el rojo de la referencia, tengo una cierta fascinación con las pinturas que tienen ese acento desde que vi el Zorn en el abrigo gigante rojo. Oh, ese autorretrato es una locura. No sé por qué lo dije así, pero es Pero una sí, es muy bonito. Divino. Yo creo que él usaba vermellón, no usaba cadmio, si no estoy mal, pero eh, igual, o sea, el cadmio cumple la misma función, digamos. Bueno, cuando hablábamos de platos típicos Sí Margo dice En Canarias un plato típico es el sancocho uh. Papas batata y pescado salado mm. Con una salsa picante que llamamos mojo picón Tenemos mucho en común con ustedes Incluida nuestra forma de hablar Uh, pero muy bueno Sí, sí. Es que igual la comida Suena muy mar. bueno 
la comida de mar es la mejor comida. ¿Es la marjor? Marjor, comida. I have to try to say hands without really saying hands. Like, I don't want to over-describe them. Liv Veald Boy said... Mm -hmm. Dice. Dice. Lima, dice. Perú es igual. Si necesitan fotografiar sus pinturas, váyanse a Lima, Perú, porque siempre está overcast. <laughs> claro. ¿Tú has ido a Lima? No, no. Yo tampoco. Mi papá sí. No, no. No sé por qué dije, pero sí. Yo no. Nunca. No. Ah, y estábamos hablando de comida. La comida peruana también es deliciosa. Muy famosa. Deliciosa. La comida en general es deliciosa. Sí, la verdad. Qué cosa. Qué jartera, ¿no? Que sí. sea. ¿Por qué, ¿Por qué, no ¿por qué es hicieron como... que algo que es tan, tan sí. rico sea tan Porque dañino? Porque no es como, uy, el ejercicio Cuando sea en exceso. es delicioso. No. Sí. Bueno, o, el ejercicio o como, es chévere, pero... O que uno dijera, uy, un repollo. Uy, me sabe la boca me repollo. una lechuga así cruda. Sí, uy, es que me sabe a garbanzo la boca. Sí. No, el garbanzo rico. Sí, pero a uno no le sabe a garbanzo la boca. Si a uno le sabe a garbanzo la boca, uno tiene pues problemas igual, qué asco que a uno le sepa a garbanzo sí, la boca. los dientes. <risa> pero, pero sí, no, el mundo es muy cruel, muy injusto. O sea, si el repollo supiera a hamburguesa de queso... ¿Qué tal? ¿Por qué no hicieron el repollo que sepa a Domino's Pizza? ¿Por qué no hicieron? Imagínate toda la gente... No, mentiras. De repollo creo que no es tan saludable. No sé no, qué verdura uno... es saludable. ¿Qué verdura? Una... una ¿Qué? Un, una berenjena que creo que es saludable. Pero igual uno no puede comer a vivir... ¿A punta de berenjena? Pues no. no. Pues no, creo que sí, pero... Bueno, no, pero... Pero, pero digamos que uno mezclara lechuga... Eh, pues tofu. que estás hablando de lechuga que es como agua el por Lechuga eso, no importa eso. Lechuga, tofu, bueno sí, es que la lechuga igual Sí, es la rica. lechuga es un cero a la izquierda Pero lo que estoy diciendo es que esa mezcla Tuviera el sabor de una hamburguesa con queso Es como Pues Sí, no, es muy injusto, el mundo es muy injusto eh, Leaf Veiled Boy no, dice, fatal. bueno, un día nos veremos y nos comemos un ceviche con papa a la huancaína y unas cuantas inca colas. Yo he probado la inca cola. cola. ¿Tú la has probado? Sí. Es rica. Sí. Dulce, bien dulce. Una polar. Una polar. Esa sí no la he probado. Esa es una cerveza... Sí, sí, sé. <risa> sí, sí. Pero sí, cuéntame, sí. cuéntame. No, no, no. No, gracias, ya, ya no. ¿Tú la has probado? Cuéntame no, no. qué sabe. Ay, sí, sí, claro. Que te cuente, Ricardo. Cuéntame. No, yo para que estoy acá es solo para pintar. Ay, no, pero... El drama. Siempre. Eh, a mí siempre me da curiosidad cuando hablamos en español que hacemos todos esos ruidos raros. Que ¿Qué ¿Qué pensar a la, a la gente? gente que habla sí. inglés solamente. Mute. Sí. Yo creo que nos mutean hasta de que... Pronto. Y después desmutean, no, siguen hablando. La Inca Cola... Sí, nosotros es colombiana, la colombiana es rica. A mí me gusta. A mí no, yo te voy a decir la verdad, a mí nunca me gustó así como... No, no así que uno diga, wow, no. Did Roslyn tried um, colombiana when she was here in Colombia? So our soda. It's a soda. Well, we have lots of soda, but yeah, it's but like, that's like yeah, it has the name of our country. Like not, I would like sweet. Well, all soda sweet, but only sweet, sweet something. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it that's. Let's see the way that taste is supposed to be. Like panela and banana. No, panela, I, no. I don't know. Now there's like a oh, soda yeah. that's with agua, agua panela. panela. I yeah. think it's so good. Is it? No, it's terrible. I liked it. I'd much rather have, like, agua panela. I liked it. Um, dice bebida gaseosa sabor a cola. Gracias por sí. nada. 
Eh, sí, gracias. <ríe> Busqué sabor colombiana y mira, una bandeja no, paisa. Sí, además, horrible está eso. Además, con carne... Esa no está muy buena, no. no se ve buena, la verdad. Pues la verdad, sí. No, a mí no. Los frijoles se ven como, como es que... de hace varios días, como reposaditos. La tajada madura. No, es que a mí como el, el todo en el círculo así no se me ve bien. Como así es que así se sirve la no, bandeja señora. paisa. Ay, Dios santo. Mira, ay, mira ay, todas Dios las santo, fotos. Dije. Mira todas las otras fotos, no, muéstrame mira. una que sea igual. Bandeja paisa. No, ¿qué tal? <risa> que si yo me crié con bandeja paisa, me vienes a decir que bandeja paisa no se sirve en círculo. Yo te he visto lo se que... Se sirve en la cosa de barro. Así me comía yo la bandeja paisa. Sí, pero eso es muy distinto a una... Mira, a, no. es un círculo. Mira bueno, la esto, otra presentación. Esto la, está horrible. La otra presentación se veía es horroroso. Esto, no sé. Horrible. Es, ¿Qué es esto? Esto no es bandeja paisa. No. No, hay presentaciones ahí horribles. Mira esto. Uy. No es solo ¿Con arrojar... ¿Con un tomate? Sí, qué asco. Y un, pedazo, es guayano, y un limón. Tomate. ¿Qué es esa vaina de allá? ¿Un limón? Un limón. No, chao. Para el chorizo. Pero no. Sí. No, este está horrible. Mira esto. Este huevo ahí falso. No, es de mentira. Sí, ese este huevo, huevo de caucho. Ese huevo de trapo. Sí. Oye, nosotros hablando de esto y nadie está viendo lo sí, que mostramos. El, el mejor contenido. <risa> eh... eh... William Felipe dice, el yo creo comida. que dicen, están hablando de comida de allá, jaja. A este paso en Discord se va a crear un room de comida y a cada uno comparte lo que come. Sería el room más lleno. <risa> la verdad sería el room en el que yo estaría más activa. Y después se vuelve activa. como ASMR, que la gente mastica no, y graba. Eso no es chévere. Y a Fer, mí no se, me gusta. Y Fer se mete a nuestro Discord. Sí, a Fer le encanta el Fer se queda ASMR. dormida escuchando esa vaina. No, pero... Como, o sea, se supone que el Yo la ASMR... despierto por las mañanas y está el iPad prendido con un imbécil, Pero un se chino supone imbécil que... ahí masticando en un micrófono. Pero se supone que el ASMR es relajante. ¿Cómo oír a alguien comer puede ser relajante? No a mí, sé. sonidos de, ma de masticar... De... El, ser, el ser humano es curioso. No, wax. Guacale. ¿Wax? Guacale. Guacale. No, wax. Wax, no sé además qué fue eso. Roslyn said, my favorite is the lemonade with limes and the sugar cane drink. Maybe it's the same. I pretty much liked everything I was given. LOL. What was the weirdest uh, food you tried here, Roslyn? If you remember. If you remember, yeah. Like when you said, when you said okay, thank you, no. Oh, or like, wow, this is a, a, an experience. Like I've never had a flavor... Similar to this. Did you try Lulo? I mean, but in terms of flavor, I'm I'm thinking of like what would be super weird. Mm. I don't know if we have anything that's like super. But Lulo is a. Yeah, but in, but in terms of like, oh my god, that's so weird. I don't know. Mm. We don't have much of that. Queso con cho queso con chocolate con queso. Yeah, but that's like you but could that's do that. But that's the best. Yeah, but you could do that anywhere. Ever. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Like, William Felipe says, "En serio, no sabía que existía eso del ASMR." No, sí, guacale. Masticando, masticando comida. Nope. Klauser Kremer dice, "El próximo live que sea uno de Nicolás pintando esa bandeja paisa con tomate y limón." No, horrible, eso está muy feo. Sí, eso sí. Se veía muy feo. No hicieron la tarea completa. Les sí. pidieron foto de producto y pusieron disque Se veía muy paisa sí. con tomate y limón. Sí, no, se veía muy feo. Qué vergüenza. Y el claro que el huevo, creo que está ganando el huevo ese. El huevo cacho. falso este. Sí. Tiene huevo. Pues la morcilla se ve bien. Sí, pero la morcilla normalmente no va en la bandeja paisa. Pero país. no va en la bandeja paisa, es chorizo. Por eso. Que yo, por ejemplo, no, a mí el chorizo me da muy duro. Pero este tiene, este tiene un huevo de caucho, <risa> <risa> frijoles, una tajada seca, porque está bien seca, no está madura, eh, arroz, carne molida, chicharrón, arepa rellena de queso, chorizo y morcilla. Sí, ese es como... 
No, pero mira también esto. Pero este también tiene morcilla. Mira esto. Mm. Como falsos esos huevos. Un poco. Mira esto. Sí, es, esa yema no existe <risa> no. en el mundo. Esta sí. Sí. ¿Y sabes qué no aprecio tanto? Me encanta, mira, estos decoraron acá con hojitas. Sí, ¿sabes qué no aprecio tanto? ¿Qué? Que el arroz me lo estén sirviendo con el pocillo. Sí. Sí, eso es como de motel. Eso no me... No sé, sí, pero... Ese, ese este arroz. se ve buena. Ese es un huevo, por ejemplo. Eso es un huevo. Es un huevo. Ese es el arroz como se ojo. sirve. Sí. Esa es la carnecita molida. Ese chorizo este no se ve muy bueno. Ese color del no. chorizo. <risa> no, además parece que no lo... No sé, le faltó calor. A ese no está cocinado, ¿no? Y mira la morcilla. Se le ve todavía... No, la morcilla, el... ay, la morcilla al fin y al cabo uno está comiendo sangre, pero, pero ese chorizo, algo pasó ahí. Morcilla de pronto es... Oh, you were talking uh, something that maybe was a weird flavor, if Roslyn was here. Blood sauce. Blood I think, sausage. yeah, morcilla, maybe. Or maybe. chunchullo. Chunchullo. Yeah, but... Which is amazing. I'm guessing like people in the U.S. also eat some of that. I don't, can't think of places where they do, but I'm sure no, they but do. But I think we've we've spoken, if I'm not mistaken, about something similar to um, chunchulio. Ch no, chunchulia. <laughs> no, but morcilla. Morcilla yeah, got yeah, blood sausage. They they do have. It's yeah. not the same though. It's so not the same because I've tried them in the U.S., but they're not. There's Super not the same. So Rosalind said, there was this soup with a corn cob, which was different, but oh, it was ajiaco. good. No, corn? Corn cob. La mazorca en el ajiaco. No, pensé más amor paisa. Oh, but no. Con did you have... Like yeah. Did you have the corn, like, inside, in the soup? And it was like... Uh, was it mazamorra? And did it have chicken in it? That's the easiest part. Did it have, like, chicken, like, shredded chicken in it? And Rosalind said, I think we loved everything because w we had been in a country that a tiny challenge for yummy food. Uh, so maybe it was, I don't know why I'm thinking it was mazamorra. No, I think it's it's easier for it to be. Because maybe she ajiaco. was here in Bogota and they, the. So it's easier. The mazamorra like, paisa. No, but you have like a, a thousand times more probability. Motorcycle was no. <laughs> passing by. But I think you have like a million times more probability to have um, ajiaco than. I really like mazamorra. Because I used to have it uh, in the town where my grandma lived. It was a very good one. I don't know. I think Nicolas don't, doesn't like it. Um, not my favorite, no. I've tried it, but not my favorite It's for good. sure. Yeah. You already you kind of know my taste. Yeah. yeah. I mean it, it has a lot of milk, so I know Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's why be your I, favorite. I tell you like I can I'll I mean today would be tough for me to say, yeah, I'll I'll try it again, but because I know that it would it would be terrible for my stomach, but And um arroz con leche, do you like it? I could eat it. I can't eat it anymore. Because I, I think that's one of the, like the uh, desserts. Yeah. That did my grandma did. Yeah. That I loved so Most? much. Most. Oh, I think it's so good. Everything about it is perfect. Yeah, they do that in the U.S. Rice pudding and everywhere, I would say. But uh, it doesn't taste the same, I would say. Oh, so Rosalind said, yes, chicken with the corn cob. Oh, so that's ajiaco. Yeah. That's my favorite Colombian dish. Yeah, and it's very customary in the area that we're living here in, in Bogota. Bogota. Yeah. Oh, and Rosalind said, oh, and the green mangoes. Yum. I'd never had that. Ah, mangoviche. Mangoviche. Oh, yeah. You know, Danny loves it. I, yeah, I, don't, I love it. I don't like it that much, but Danny loves We it. We have like stands. Uh, stands? What? Stands. Uh, como carritos. <laughs> <laughs> like little food carts, like little carts. Yeah, like food carts. That are shaped as a mango. Because they have the shape of a mango. Well, you don't have to. The, oh, they but have. But you like those specifically? Yeah, those are the one I buy from. Yeah. And they have mango iche, which are the green mangoes. And you can add like different toppings. And there's a combination that sounds weird, but I love, which has uh, vinegar. Vinegar? Vinegar. Condensed milk. Oh my god, that's pepper, already pepper, salt, lemon, sprinkles, and I think that's it. Sprinkles? And sprinkles, yeah. Oh and my it's god. the best thing ever. I mean, we were in the park at the park last time and 
I bought one like that. And Fer was like, oh, I don't know if I want to try it. And she tried it. Oh, she's weird with And taste, she was Fer, in yeah. love. No, because yeah, it's like the best thing ever. No, it doesn't sound good. <gasps> it sounds weird. But did you make but that so combination good. for that? I don't know. If, well, they say like, uh, ask for the toppings you want. Yeah, and but I that, asked for did you that. get that? Did you get all that uh, with the one in the park? Yeah. Really? That's the one she tried. Yeah, because that's how I always ask for my mangoichi. So I love it like that. I'm glad I didn't know. I wouldn't have let her try that crap. <laughs> Leaf Veiled Boy said, she said vinegar and milk and my stomach said, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Check, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It sounds weird, but it's really, really good. Yeah. I have to live with the consequences, though. I'm the one sharing the bed. And Lee Failed Boy said, If I drink too much milk, you would never see me come out of the restroom. And I used to drink so much milk when I was a kid. Yeah, that's... um. Well, I didn't like it when I was a kid. That's well, the I thing. I loved it when I was a kid. I hated it. I, I hated... For, you know what's one of the smells that I hate the most in life? Warm milk. Warm milk. Yeah, I know. Oh that. my god! Like to me, in my brain, very few things as disgusting as that. No, I think it's delicious. Like having a brownie with warm milk. Oh my god! Stop it. That was delicious. But now I don't have milk. But that like much when you would go into a kitchen and they would have like a una olla, yeah, with like milk, like delicious. they were. Like heating milk? Delicious. Oh my god, the smell. Oh Yeah, blah. I know that that's oh some of the god. things you hate the most. Oh I'm I'm gagging here. I can't paint anymore. <laughs> Rosalind said, Ha ha ha, I trust you, Danny. I tried. Yes. So that's gonna be the food we're gonna have for my party. Okay. <laughs> so I know what you guys are doing when you're getting back. Like three clogged bathrooms. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to we unclog gotta, all we're bathrooms. Gonna, no, because we're going to go uh, try a all plumber? the bathrooms in the homes <laughs> we're visiting. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the first and last time you guys are going to get invited. Um, Popping Tail said, no changua for Nico. For Nico. No, then. for Nico. <laughs> okay. uh, for Nico, then. Yeah, that was that's a classic one. Um, no, no, no. My father used to love that. My father loved changua, but no, I can't do milk. Changua is not my favorite, I have to say. No. I think it's not that good. Mazamora no, no. is better. Like a thousand times. Roslyn said, milk is for cereal, period. Yeah, And that's Robin a good said, exactly, point of pride. But milk, for example, milk with Oreos. Oreos? Yeah. Amazing. Well, milk and cookies. Because uh, no. that's true for a lot of... Like chocolate but chip for, cookies, a lot of people do but that. for me, it's Oreos. Yeah? Yeah. Milk with, um, let's see. Because I remember when we were visiting my grandma, uh, we had like a dessert that was a cake, kind of cake made with bread. Torta de pan. Yeah. <laughs> with a uh, bocadillo. <laughs> with guava paste. And uh, my dad... And my uncles yeah. used to have it with milk. Always. Like if they were having that, they would drink milk. Yeah. And my, I think my uncle is like that. Like if he has um, a dessert, yeah. he has it with milk. So. Roslyn said, Oreos can be cereal. Kinda. Well. Cereal adjacent. I would say that. Well, yeah, I would second that. There's Oreo uh, cereals, but I don't think they're in the same No, but completely. I would second that, though. Uh, That's my biggest, you, you know, um, Roros. <laughs> that is my biggest, um, I'm, I do that just for you. I, I hate doing that. But the, the biggest regret I have is, uh, or the biggest thing I miss is that I used to love cereal. But I, I like all these, like, geriatric cereals. So, um but I used to love him regardless, and, and now I can't have any cereal because I can't do anything that looks like milk. I can't mm. have. But we haven't tried the oat milk. No, but uh, but I've tried... Um, almond milk. I've tried uh, soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk. Doesn't matter. Like, But maybe oat I milk am, is the solution. No. We have to see. Well, that's a pretty pricey solution. 
no, I think it's the same. I think it's more expensive. Uh, no, of no, 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 because I bought it. At least the one I got was, I think, the same price of the um, almond milk. Yeah, but you've seen me. It, I'm not making it up. It's like no, no, no. You it, can't have. Yeah, milk. it's not. It's it's just not. It's not meant to be. I'm fine with that. Mm. Roslyn said, "Grape nuts are my jam. Old people cereal is the best." Oh, dude, I love the um. With the one that raisins. Uh, oh yeah, oatmeal ra uh, no, 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 raisin bran. Raisin bran, yeah. Oh, like yeah, that's very. I love good. that. I love that. I think it's very good. Like they give that to people that have just gone through like surgeries, and I love that. I think it's good. Um. And Roslyn said, ha, 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 yes, the home tours have bathrooms. We are good. LOL. Oso Bucodonosor dice, leche de almendras me cae mejor. Leaf Veiled Boy said, Nico looks at titanium white. Sis milk now. And he also said, tres leches. Que me joda la barriga, pero me como todo el plato. Uy, sí, a mí me encanta. Nicolás, no le gustan las tres leches. Pero el postre que hace mi mamá de leche. Uy, delicioso. Es que solo me lo como es una como vez un al año. O sea. Es como, tiene como caramelo, parece como un sí, flan. Sí, es un flan, es un flan, es pues un postre de leche que hace mi mamá como con una receta Del así. Del curso de, no me acuerdo el sí, nombre. Sí, una receta milenaria. Ajá. Y... Es la única vez que me como un postre Uy, pero es que un en flan. todo el año porque lo hace como para Navidad o para Año Dios Nuevo. Santo. Y Dios ya, o sea, me aguanto la pedorrea Nicolás. como esos... Sí, me aguanto esos días y es el sacrificio que hago por ese postre una no, vez mí, al año. Tres leches, qué delicia. Leche asada, qué delicia. No, chao, Uy, no, qué delicia todo. La comida. Roslyn said, raising bran, yum. Oh, it's so good. Uh, Popping Tales dice Malk. Esos postrecitos del D1. En el D1 creo que vendían como unas tres leches, que era muy rico. Um, Catherine said, ice cream is milk. You don't like that either? I can't do ice cream. Ask no. Danny. I can't. No. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't miss cream. it. I don't miss it at all. But So I don't care. But But yeah. It's um, it's super sad. I'm a sad human being. Stan said, "How about hazelnut milk? It's delicious." Oh, we don't get that. I don't know here. if we have it here. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get. That's too fancy. <gasps> yeah. Uy, William Felipe dice postre de natas. Uy. No, tampoco. No empiece, William Felipe, porque es este <laughs> mis favoritos. No a mí el postre de natas me parece. No, yo no. Uy, no, 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 no más, no más, no más. Live. Veiled boy said, "Veiled boy said, mm -hmm. even Cheerios is good." LOL. Yep. Mm. And Rosalind said, "I love Cheerios." <laughs> <laughs> oh, and cereal! This, this. Ricardo well, I'm sure said, there's Hell bad yes, cereal. Rosalind. I'm sure there's bad cereal, but you know. Is it Choca Peak from here? No. I think so. Choca Peak. De pronto. El que es curvito. Wait, that's amazing. Chocapic? Wait, now I'm curious. Ahora es Nestlé o algo así. Sí. Chocapic de Nestlé. Sí, es Nestlé es todo. O sea, ya. Estas pinturas son Nestlé. Cho todo bravo. Sí. Estas pinturas. Chocapic? I would say it's maybe my favorite. Really? Maybe. I think it's so good. I, have I a never weird buy one. it. I never buy it because I can't. Uh, I can control myself. <laughs> I think it's so, so good. W which one's your weird one? L my favorite. My favorite, like, all-time favorite. Uh, when I used to just um, power through the, uh, the going through the horrible uh, effects Fresi of Crispies? milk. Yeah, Fresi Crispies. We call Fresi. them here Fresi Crispies, yes. which is How like is strawberry it? crispies, like strawberry yeah. rice crispies. Fresi Crispies, yeah. That. But that, when I was a kid, they were called Fresi Crispies. Uh, they disappeared for a longest time. And, and then, then I got you one, remember? Then they came back. Yeah. Yeah. But um, they were the best. They were the best. Fresi Crispies, yeah. Yeah. They are so good. They're very good. But now they are. 
steal on stores. Yeah, yeah. I don't know no, if they'll I mean, ever taste like the same, but... It's his limited edition, but <laughs> it's been like two years, three, four years, maybe. I mean, but the last so. two years don't count, so. <laughs> uh, Leaf Veiled Boy said, Veiled Boy <laughs> said, Nico has tratado los óleos de Nestlé, son <laughs> buenísimos. Sí, pero me dan pedos también. <laughs> Eh, William Felipe dice cuajadita con melado uy qué delicia yo trato de comer harto en el almuerzo para no antojarme aquí pero es imposible voy por un choco ramito y ya vengo <risa> sí yo es porque tengo que estar hablando acá eso es lo que me mantiene sin sin galguerías mil veces te has parado bueno qué pena tengo que levantarme no un yo momentico. no he comido acá al frente he llegas, tomado cosas llegas con un paquete <risa> No, uy, Las pero yucas. es que si pudiera un postre de natas ahorita, o sea, si me dicen, ¿te puedes comer el postre de natas ya? No me importa, me lo como 100%. Aquí, frente, frente de la gente. Roslyn said, my plan is cereal for dinner now. <laughs> That's really Delicious. good. That's really good. No, I, I have, I'm going to have a boring tea. Mm, Beshria said, I love Rice Krispies. Even the regular ones, but we don't really get them here in Bangladesh. Because uh, in the United States, they have a lot of cereals. Oh, like two like aisles crazy. of cereal. Yeah. yeah. When we go there, I mean, Nicolas and I are the type of people that enjoy even going to uh, buy gro groceries. Yeah, we, we go we to, can a, spend like we go to a supermarket to just like window shop yeah and we're like oh have you seen this yeah. have you seen this we don't and, and we don't like, buy anything yeah. but we'll just go like oh my god and we get god. an apple yeah. yeah but we love to be in the um, cereal aisle any aisle honestly yeah but the cereal one you always is get so pissed like if we're traveling and um i'm always like yeah we're we're looking for this this and this and you're like we skipped an aisle yeah What are we doing? Like, yeah. what are we doing here? Yeah, because sometimes no you're rush. like... Yeah. The, the last time you were like, oh, we just need a shampoo. And I was like, we just need what? I'm sorry, this is my plan. That Like, this is what I came to the United yeah. States for. Now you understand what we're not doing, why I'm not going to the apartment. Roslyn <laughs> <laughs> mm. said, smacks. It's like a puffered rice cereal. I'm really carving it now. I remember Craving that one. it, carving it. I was carving. You were carving it. Yeah. I remember. Wasn't that Smacks? Uh, honey Smacks? Wasn't that the uh, frog? Honey Smacks? Like in the 80s? Oh, it has a frog. Yeah. Look. Yeah. This one? Yeah, I think this I tried one. it. I mean, I remember the old logos. Yeah, there you go. The old, I remember the older ones. but It looks good. I think I tried it a couple of times. I mean, it had been a while since our stream degenerated into food talk, so... <laughs> yeah. It's a good talk. Always a good talk. Rosalind said, yes, the frog. And Bishriya said, haha, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, going to the grocery shop, grocery store... Yeah. ...is like the best plan for both of us. More when we're traveling, like... But we even, I mean, even here, you're like, oh, I'm going to go to uh, to buy some things. Oh, and Danny's I'm like, like, oh, I'm there. Oh, we need we need napkins. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to the uh, to this store. Yeah, like, and she's like, I'll go, with, I'll go with you. I'll go yeah. with you. And I'm like, okay. The thing is that I'm... And then we get 28 <laughs> things and we forget the napkins. Yeah. No, you are the one that always, I'm always forgets like, we... things. Because I always have a list yeah, could of be, things. Because you always... You always tell me to get boring stuff, so... No, because you're like, oh, I'm going to buy some things. And I'm like, oh, can you get something? No, 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 no. I'll go tomorrow. I'm overwhelmed, I'm like, yeah. Don't overwhelm okay. me, please. Yeah. I got I got the fish today, so we're good. Yeah. Well... I surprised myself that I was getting it. Yeah. Well, I asked for one thing. Yeah, like, you had one yeah. job. The well, the meme said. <laughs> I mean, it is surprising stuff. Yeah. The l I remember one time that I was like, oh, we're missing napkins. 
I have to go. And you were like, no, 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 I'm going to go because I have to buy some things. No napkins. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, the napkins. Oh, no, I forgot. But I'm going to go later today. And I was like, oh, okay, remember, please, the napkins. Okay. They then were, again. They were elusive. I mean. No napkins. Napkins are, you know. And I was like, did you, uh, did you get the napkins? Oh, I promise tomorrow. And I was like, okay. And then you went in the morning and forgot the napkins. And I was like, no, I'm done. I'm going to buy them myself. Cause and then you went and you forgot and the napkins. No. Yes, you did. No. The last time and I, I told oh, you. Maybe like, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. Like the napkins were elusive. They just yeah. didn't want to get bought. Maybe, maybe. No, yeah. not maybe. I'm 100% right uh, on yeah. this. But then I went out and got the napkins. After I a month. got the napkins. I got the no, napkins. I did. No. Oh, maybe you did. Or maybe I did. I did. No, I did. I forget. Now that you say, I remember I left the things here and then I went to get the napkins. But I mean, yeah, I remember I forgot them too. <laughs> so. Oh my God. Mm. And then we get, then we're worried why our, you know, viewership doesn't grow. <laughs> We are a paint a painting <laughs> channel that napkins. spent five minutes with a napkin story. <laughs> yeah, Rosalind said fish sounds good too. Oh, cause wait, mm. how do you yeah. say tilapia? Yeah, fish sounds good too. Might just be I'm hungry. Lol. I think everything you're talking about sounds good. Like every food product, <laughs> I would love them at this moment. Um. Mm. Ricardo sí. said, I oh. trust anything with a frog on it. <laughs> cadmium is good for you in the mornings. Cadmium in the day. Mm, thalo at night before bedtime. Hey, hey. <laughs> That's a different diet. Sí, mm. Esa dieta está fuerte, Ricardo. So, good food talk. <laughs> Mm. ¿Ya volvió William Felipe con el Chocorramo? ¿O se quedó? Hizo un detour. O se lo está comiendo y ahí ya callado. tiene un yogur, un Chocorramo. Déjalo masticar. Un... <laughs> But now I'm curious, do we have hazelnut milk here? No, no. A hundred percent no. I mean, we could do it. But... Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can get hazelnuts, though. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, God. <laughs> That was a good one. No. Mm. Rosalind said, Danny, I really like your shirt today, by the way. Thank you. The sweater or the... Sh I have... Because I was... Uh, wearing my shirt, which is like a basic, uh, like off-white shirt, and now I have my sweater, which, which has means like dirty. a checkered and like distorted checker down. Because today the day is super cold, don't you think? Uh, we've had like a couple of week, like a week of very cold weather and a lot of rain. Mm, yeah, Rosalind said the sweater, the checks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And it's super cozy. I like it a lot. Thank you, Rosalind. Bishria said maybe not was a good one. It was. I'm not trying to say I'm funny, but did you get it? No, nope, I'm I checked out of this conversation I'm a not, long time ago. I'm not trying to say. Yeah, that's And you I'm not here. Not Just don't think Think that I'm not, not here. I went to the bathroom. <laughs> um, Ricardo said, so color, temperature, and values, right? Uh, that's everything, yeah. Well, you missed hue. Well, hue, hue, value, saturation. Those are the three color ones. And temperature is like a very weird one that doesn't quite fall into uh, categories, but... That's super important too, I feel. Rosalind said, 
what was very cold because it was a snowstorm here a few days ago. Oh yeah, never mind. Oh no, compared to I you mean, guys, no, we like we are not cold. Yeah, the thing is that you are kind of prepared to that cold, and here we weren't used to having this cold. Uh, this month, at no, this no month. it's too early. Yeah, it's about a month and a half early for this weather. Yeah. Because in my, in April, yeah, it's super cold and rainy, but February, yeah, never. No, no, it's uh, it's never. kind of strange. Well, not never, but not usually. I think I'm close to being done ish. We'll see. Cody Winnicky said, we had below zero degrees last week. Oh, forget it. And today it's 64. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, but below zero is very, very cold. But Are you saying below zero Fahrenheit? And 64 would be our weather here. Because zero Fahrenheit would be minus 17 Celsius. Yeah, that's very cold. And then 64. It's like our weather. Close. It's 17. Yeah, that's like so us. Minus 17 to 17. That is ridiculous. Mm. Ricardo dice, y yo aquí en Florida muriéndome de calor, aquí los inviernos duran solo un día de 9 a 5 pm. Pero también chévere. O sea, igual yo creo que si uno se va, si uno está en la Florida, uno sabe que siempre... Pues uno se va a acostumbrar a que eso es sí. solo calor. Pues no acostumbrar, pero pues toca hacerse la idea. Sí. Pues yeah, Cody más. said, yes, Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's that is that's a that's some range. Mm, Bishriya said, I've been hearing of rainy and snowy weather everywhere, but it's only been sunnier and sunnier here. Yeah, because here it's been super rainy. Super, super. Like, what's the temperature for you, um, Beshria? Roslyn said, I looked at houses in Colombia and Spain and a couple other places. When that snow hit next winter, <laughs> I'm out. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roslyn, I can tell you we'll some. Have you, we'll have you over. If and you're I can here. tell you some places where you can look for houses here in Colombia. I, online. Just to look at them. <laughs> as I do we'll be neighbors next year I think I've like I've I've seen houses yeah in the United States just because yeah. but I don't think I've ever looked for houses out of uh, like Colombia and the United States like in other countries? Yeah, like I'm thinking maybe if I go online to look for houses. Maybe that's something I have to explore now, Rosalind. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've never seen... Um, you know, British houses. The... British houses. Yeah. Real estate uh, elsewhere. So, I should do that today and tomorrow. Oh, before I go to sleep, I like to do that. So. How's it looking, Danielita? Cool. It looks like, um, as I said, like a kind of a ghost, ghost e looking, yeah. and I like that. Yeah. Roslyn said, I told my husband I had an in. ¿Qué es eso? 
What's that? Keep keep. Uh, y mayúscula y n. Oh, like a, como un, como un hotelito, como un. Oh, like a stay in. Because Roslyn said, I told my husband I had an in. Uh, Danny. He was like, okay. Um, Annie M said, "Wow, first time I caught you guys live. I'm so happy. Oh, that's awesome! Happy to have you here, Annie. Remember, we're here at kind of the same time. Sometimes, like sometimes we change it up a little bit. Yeah, Uh, Monday through Thursday. And remember to uh, ring that bell, Annie." This and is for subscribe. Annie and for everyone else. Like if you sub- if you uh, sub and if you ring that bell, you'll always get a notification when we are live. Cody Winicky said, there is a whole channel on the Discord for Danny to house hunt. We can all just put the websites from our countries for here. Oh, please. Oh, my God. You <laughs> I would enablers. be happy <laughs> to oh see it. God. I have to. Now I have to download. Discord. No, no, no. You have to measure the uh, no. Oh yeah, the yeah. deposit. Yeah, now I have an excuse for Danny not to check that. Um, Ricardo said having the head on that of white hue is really giving this some vibes. Like Danny said, very ghosty, very cool. Gracias, thank you, uh, Ricardo. Um. William Felipe dice, sí, ya volví, pero me comí un gancito y ahora vamos con mi esposa por un heladito. No, me encanta que pero... uno lo dice en diminutivo para sentirse menos mal. Sí. Uno dice, no, solo me comí un gancito. Un gancito no vale. Un gancito lo que hizo fue abrirme el apetito. Para el heladito, sí. El abre bocas del heladito. ¿Y helado de qué? Me dejó iniciado este gancito. Para alguien que esté aprendiendo español también debe ser raro, me comí un gancito. Sí, es colombianos comen lo que sea, sí. ¿no? <risa> sí. Oye, tengo una cortada por el... en el dedo. Sí. Pero... Pero bueno. Roslyn said, Danny, you are the inside info for me about good areas to look in Colombia. That's my... Oh, quote that's your in. in. Okay, yeah, oh. yeah, we get it, we get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sí, William Felipe dice, para no sentirme tan fatness, jajaja. Ja, ja. Sí, para eso sirve el diminutivo. Mm. Beshria said, uh, Roslyn, the sun being out is quite nice. I just wish the heat wasn't this bad. So, how bad is it? Like, what's the temperature? What's the temperature being like these days? Roslyn said, I like the attention given to the front of the dress. It looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. Yeah, I, I need it for the um, the form to break. Because, you know, there's no legs, you know, there to, uh, to suggest. So the only way you can kind of uh, find the body underneath the dress is just by that plain break, just finding that knee. Right there and right there. Um, but there's a ton of decisions, little decisions. I, I, I always think it's like subtle stuff that makes uh, a painting or breaks it. And um, there's a lot of like tiny little stuff. Even just um, leaving those tiny little accents of ochre just to, just to suggest that there's going to be um, future, let's say future if we're like reading the image from top to bottom there's going to be future introduction of hues of like, you know, um, measurable hues. So I think that all these tiny little moments that are almost like in, in, imperceptible, they prepare you for that cad red. I'm just not, not even close to being pure cad red, but, um, but in terms of, of the, um, of the painting relative to the rest of the painting, it's, it's like tiny moments of, of, uh, saturation within those hues. So, I think that that's important. My my, as an experiment, I and that's I I would say that that's what I was most curious about. Um, I would say it's it's super interesting because there's tons of things that are battling for attention. I would say. Um, and oh my jacket. Yeah. Yeah, nice. 
like a nice big brush stroke on my jacket because I dropped the brush. Uh, I can go super quick no, to no, clean no, it. No, 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 no. I'll do that afterwards. Don't worry about it. But then it's gonna. Yeah, be who skinny. cares? It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but uh, I'm, I was super interested to see if this could live with this. Like, if those two moments could could really live in the same painting. So. You know, it wasn't about describing hands. It wasn't about even even like that is kind of bugging me a little bit that I'm trying to say arm a little too much. So I'm going to say I'm going to let me see if I can break that or not break it, but just um, uh, make it feel like it's one because now that I was looking at it, I was like, ah, I don't want to break that too much. So a lot of the painting while I'm doing this is I think it's about trying to. Mm, connect areas that should be um, almost like begging for your attention as a viewer, uh, but connect them and still make them, you know, vastly different, still make them feel as, you know, as if they're very, very different one from the other. So I, th I think the transitioning from one area to the other, like the, the subtle transitioning from one area to the other It's like super essential. If it was very abrupt in the painting, it wouldn't work. I could tell you that right now. It, it would be nonsensical almost. Like your your brain wouldn't really know what to pay attention to. But because like, let's put this, for example, here, which is I'm trying not to make it feel so much like an arm just so that we don't stop at the fact that it's an arm, That just so that our brain just doesn't really... Um, think too much about the armness of that stroke. Uh, but in here, it's a it's a moment where, you know, the sleeves meet, meet the, the arm, and it's all the same value, which meets the inside of the dress, this little bit of the dress that's actually super light, but it's also meeting this pattern that it's in light that I decided to, um, to, uh, to just, you know, generalize it as a, as a, just a stroke of that kind of ochre. So everything is kind of meeting there and it's all blending together. And it, and it works really well if it's blending together. It works really well if I'm not trying to over-describe like the differences between everything. As soon as I start thinking, no, but this is, this is a sleeve and that's skin and this is like pattern and this is this other thing, then what I'm actually doing is, is almost like shooting myself in the foot because then it's going to be super hard for me to connect things. And what I need is to connect things because um, transitioning from one thing to the next is going to be super, super tough. Very, very tough. And the places where there's hard edges, which I need because the design I think is really, really nice, are, are also many times places where there's going to be like the highest amount of contrast. And... If those become too powerful, then then your mind is your your mind's eye is just going to want to go to those all the time. So it's a really nice balancing act. I feel like it's it's one of those paintings that you, it reminds you that many times you can you can have um, instances of the painting that in theory shouldn't work. Like you know if 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 you try to pre visualize them, you're probably going to go like. Oh, this is going to compete with this, and this is going to fight for you know the attention with this other area, and um, th those are super exciting paintings to paint too because they make you they they kind of drop you into this problem, and it is about problem solving. Like you're reminded that a lot of painting is just problem solving. A lot of it. It's it's super easy when you look at nature and it's all there, like every single thing that you have to resolve is there and you just have to be careful about solving it. You know, you have to be very, very careful about um, translating one-to-one -one the beautiful decisions that nature is showing you. It's almost like nature is showing you the answer. So now it's your job to translate it into paint, to interpret it through paint, but it is there. But, you know, that's not the case with every painting. Like there, there's some paintings where... You are asked as a painter to, you know, to do things that are, are that go against um, the very nature of what you're looking at. Let's say if you were observing directly nature. So those moments are super, super nice because you're reminded, first of all, that a painting is a painting. A painting is not nature. If you want to look at nature, don't grab a paintbrush. Just grab a little chair and sit 
you know, in your backyard and look at nature, stare at nature, and that's it. That's amazing. But if you want to do a painting, you have to realize that paintings live in another realm. Like, it, they're not supposed to compete with nature. You know, you could celebrate nature and you could be in awe of nature, but you don't have to always just, you know, think that that is your end goal. And I feel that, you know, as I was saying at the beginning of the, um, of the stream, that, you know, many times it's, it's best if, even though you're doing, like, let's say you're, um, you're honing your practice and you're doing, uh, the example that we were giving was bark plates. You're copying bark plates, mm -hmm. like uh, Charles Bark plates. Um, it's very good. It's very healthy to say, yeah, I'm doing that, but I'm also coupling that with going to a open figure drawing, you know, practice uh, Wednesday nights where I draw super fast poses. But I also carry a sketchbook with me and I, I draw people at, at a cafe or whatever. Um, it's always very healthy to say, you know, you need to balance everything out. In that sense, I also feel that painting, it, it's great to remind yourself that Paintings can, resi can reside somewhere else. L like they don't have to be uh, kind of like slaves to nature. Uh, nature is the most beautiful, the, the wisest of starting points. It is. It simply is. You, you cannot compete with nature. You can't. Um, but, you know, there's, there's always something gorgeous about saying, let me reorganize nature. Let me reconfigure nature to fit this thing that I want to try and see if it works through painting. Uh, and and I, I think nature is very grateful for that. Nature will go like, yeah, do anything you want with me. Like, I will give you all the information you need. And then it's your job to set to see how you dispose of that information. And I think that that's amazing. And I think this is one of the paintings that um, it's super cool because I kind of see it in my brain. But I was always I was super worried with this moment. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be super abrupt. Because I can totally understand that, right? You know, it's a, it's a um, almost like same value but different temperature and the hue is different. Like you can see the blueness of the uh, black in that background against the yellow, you know, yellow, green, gray that we're using with the black and the ochre and the white here. So the difference there is mostly about hue, but the values are super close, right? But as soon as you introduce that, which is introducing not only like... Um, um, a contrasting value, but a new hue because now there's red in that dark. And it's like, okay, we were, we were kind of in an analogous, you know, part of, of our, um, um, of our wheel, let's say of our color wheel here. But now we're introducing like this, this really contrasting color and the painting becomes something completely different. So it's very nice to see this transition to this transition to this bit of color and this bit of form being understood here. So I would say this area is, you know, and, and again, this is like a super cool reminder. Um, there's something bothering me about the texture of this paint here. Let me, let me just do something that would, no, that's better, I guess. Uh, let me see sharper. Nope. Okay. Maybe. I mean, I'll get to it in a second, but there's something about this area. Yeah, because I, I don't like how this it, it needs to be simpler, but I, I'll, I'll do it in a second. But um, there's something about this area, which is like the most important part of the painting. It's it has to be because, you know, that's where everything clashes together. And if it clashes together and it's a, you know, horrible, you know, accident and, and you know, everything is just a mess, then. There's no, like, your portrait could be amazing and it doesn't matter. Like, everyone's going to go see, you know, the place where everything just fell apart. So, so this was, this is super, super important. And, um, and I'm, I'm happy that I, you know, I understood that this was very abstract, very important. And it's, um, uh, it needs as much time and as much, um, uh, attention as something like a portrait would or, or as the uh, gesture of the pose would it doesn't matter and I also wanted my you know if I was started painting hands I was going to be like no that's way too much attention for um, a transitioning moment in the painting so I can't just paint hands so I decided to bring them together and perhaps that's why I kind of overstretched that arm which I don't care like honestly I, I don't care about those things but I think that was happening 
but it's because I needed to bring this together. Actually, I'm going to do that. So let me work for like five more minutes because mm -hmm. there's things that I, I think I, I, I could do a little bit better here. Mm, so let's see. Rosalind was saying the shadow under the knee as well. So smart. Jose Fails said, I love the suggestion of the chair with those legs. Annie M said... Yeah, and those couldn't be that important either. Those were super important to say, but they shouldn't be super evident, let's say. Annie M said, Damn, I love how glowy that ochre spot below the chair is next to the oh, I like it too. I like part that of one the too. skirt. Yeah, I like that one too. So we're finding very simple ways of showcasing the the range that um that the uh zorn zorn palette has mm -hmm. so that's also like a cool thing uh your mom was saying amazing and clapping emojis she's very kind always gracias mi olgis mi olguin Rosalind said that literally just helped me i painted some people sitting and sitting and i wasn't realizing what what no And it was a real puzzle yeah. <laughs> not to make them look like they were standing. Thank you for that. When you were talking about how you had to speak about the fold. Oh, like the, the, the breaking of the yeah, knees. Yeah, yeah. The, the change in planes. Yeah. yeah. So I think making that little moment sharper helped me a bit. That little cast shadow, which is nothing. I'm, I'm thinking more of, of it as color than as like cast shadow coming from a hand. Mm -hmm. I think that that's kind of important too. I'm just going to do like a tiny little drop, like a tiny, tiny little, um, like a, a gray here, but very, very subtle. I think that's it. I think I, this is cool. It's a nice. It's um. It always amazes me how how versatile a, a four color palette can be. It's yeah. incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It's my favorite palette for sure. Out of every single, you know, palette combination that you could you could um, imagine. Um, academically, I think there's there's nothing that comes even close to to. Um, the sort of stuff that you can learn from a Zorn color palette, from a four color palette, which again, we say Zorn is a s sort of shorthand, mm -hmm. but this is very much so. I always try to remind people, this is very much rooted in like high Renaissance and Baroque painting. Very, very much so. I mean, they were the kings and queens of like understanding how to do so much with so little. And that's the basic philosophy of that palette. Like realizing that that with very, very little as your source, if you manipulate it intelligently enough, I'm not saying this is a super intelligent painting. Don't, don't, um, don't, please don't think that I'm saying that. But if, you know, when you would see them, you know, the greatest, greatest examples of painting, um, manipulate it in a way that you can see the painting brain that's behind the paintings, that it's fascinating. That's when you go like, oh my God, that's what painting is about. I mean, For me, I, I don't want to make it, I'm not throwing shade at like this, all these beautiful colors that we have nowadays, but for me, the, the, the most beautiful painting has to be that, where there was very little, and it wasn't just about putting green because you had a green, and you just go to the store and you pay, you know, uh, eight bucks and you can get like the brightest of greens. No, like, you know, these people, you know, 400 years ago, um, They had to deal with variables that, that were so different than the ones we have to deal with. But the thing is, we, we can't really put ourselves in like that, like in their brain, because we already know how much color we have available to us. But they didn't. They didn't know that all these things would eventually exist. All they knew is that they had these colors, like earthy colors, like, you know, few accents and saturation, very few hues also to choose from. And they were like, okay, you know, I'm not going to yearn for something that doesn't exist. I'm just going to work with what I have. 
And those were the most awesome examples, I think, of, of uh, human ingenuity in painting that I've, I've ever seen in painting history. So I o I'm always reminded of that when I do these sort of exercises, but I'm always happily reminded also that they can, you can take that, which is very much so rooted in painting from you know four or five centuries ago, and make it into something that feels paint, like you're painting today. And that's what's the coolest thing, you know. You can you can take something that was the building blocks of painting that was very true, um, you know, in the in the foundation of you know Western painting, and you can still use it today and say things that are, you know, hopefully feel like okay, this is a product of today, um, which is very weird now looking at Fer with a <laughs> dress evocative of like medieval times. But anyways. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the painting today. I, I talked through it a little bit, I guess, in the end, but I hope that people find that somewhat useful. No, so. I think that's super interesting. Yeah, so I like it. I like it. it's a tough exercise, to be honest. Very, very tough exercise. There were a ton of sacrifices that I had to do, but I think um, overall it works well. Like I can see potentially how it can work, and it can be super powerful, like super, super powerful. But again, you know, with with the things that are gained come moments that have to be dealt with, you know, intelligently, you know, mm -hmm. and by intelligently, I, I don't mean that I did a great job. I mean that you have to stop and think, you know, how to solve those moments in your painting. And they're all going to be weird. It, it doesn't mean that this is going to be the same variables for every time you want to do something like this. No, this is just, this is inherent to this painting. These are the variables that, grew from trying to solve this particular painting. I would have to pay attention if I did another exercise that was almost like exactly like this, you know, trying to have an instance of the painting be in a very narrow uh, value range and, and clashing together with another instance of the painting that has contrast and maybe has some saturation. That painting, that other painting that was on paper dealing with the same things may have to be solved completely differently, completely differently, because it is another living thing. It's so, so, it's so amazing to understand how paintings just ask of you so many different things. And it's best to be open to that rather than to just impose yourself all the time, just to say, hey, I found a recipe. I'm just gonna, you know, beat every painting with a stick, like with this recipe, because I found something that appears to work. Um, so yeah, so that that was that was a lot of fun for me. Making these small but super important discoveries about painting is is what painting is about. So I would invite or urge people to to do the same, you know, with whatever they're doing. It, their paintings can look completely different from this, and that's awesome. I mean, I would expect them to be super different, um, but embark on those, you know on those situations that put you in trouble and, and you have to use your painting brain to say, how do I make this work? Like, this is not easy. How do I make it do what I want it to do? And that's when you feel like you're painting. I think that that feeling is much more important than just saying, um, I need to go to classes to learn how to paint or because many times they teach you how to paint, but they, they'll never, teach you how to solve stuff that's going to be particular to your own painting that's just going to be you that's always going to be you and that one you don't need to wait to learn how to paint to try to get into those um problem solving kind of um, um steps let's say you can start doing that you know the moment you pick up a brush so it's tough it's going to be tough i'm not not going to say this is easy but you can start doing that immediately. So anyways, that was super cool today. So, I like the painting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me read uh, um, maybe a couple of comments. Okay, cool. So Ricardo said, Yeah, you spoke a lot of very a lot of very valuable things. Talking about the edge work and how you use busy versus rest. Yes. Areas is so good to listen and see you working through them. Awesome. Very interesting and informational. Awesome. Um, Roslyn said, beautiful, always inspiring to watch you create. Lotus said, I found conflicting sources that say the Sorn palette uses vermi vermilion. Vermilion, yeah. Oh, um, I went with vermilion. Oh, yeah, vermilion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I, I'm sorry. Uh, keep. Yeah, but others say cadmium red light. What's Nicolas using here? 
Oh, so I use Cad Red um, Medium because I think Cad Red Light is a little too orange. It's like a red orange. Um, uh, but I'm guessing he used Vermilion. You know, it doesn't matter. Like Cad Red became eventually the replacement of Vermilion. So, and it's far more saturated than Vermilion. People love Vermilion because it's a little more kind of like pliable, a little more malleable in your palette. It's not as um, as loud as as Cad Red can be. Cad Red can be overpowering if you're not careful. Um, but essentially, you know, for the sake of the conversation of, of like a practical conversation where you want a very limited palette where you the one accent in saturation is going to be that red um, and the rest is going to be a earthy yellow and then a, you know, titanium white or lead white and then ivory black. Um, that doesn't matter if it's vermilion or cad red. Honestly, in that sense, I mean, in, in terms of, of what factually happened, like what's red that Zorn use? Yeah, I, I don't know exactly. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly. Um, I could ask around. I'm sure Mia Mia Bergeron knows because she does like Zorn palette or um, uh, there's a few painters that I can think of that they probably know more um, about that. Uh, for me, it's uh, I mean it's, it'd be good to know because knowledge is cool. But uh, essentially, in the in terms of of the practical use, you're fine with either or. You're completely fine with either or. One requires a little more control, which I would say it's cad red, and the other requires a bigger wallet because vermilion <laughs> is going to be crazy expensive, like ridiculously expensive. Like you're going to go well over a hundred dollars for like a small tube. So prepare your wallet for that. Um, but the only thing is, like, it's going to be yeah, it's going to be friendlier to mix with, which is great. But uh, yeah, but 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 in terms of the philosophy underneath, which is what's most important, there's there's not going to be any difference for sure. Yeah, so I think we're good. We're good. Awesome. So thank you again, everyone. Thanks, for joining everyone. Us, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, check out yesterday's video if you haven't seen it. We yeah. are super happy about the videos that we do on Mondays. Uh, check out our Kickstarter if you haven't checked it out. Check we would love TikTok. check. Don't check our TikTok, um, and check our storefront if you um, if you have some money and you've liked uh, some of the pieces that we've done. We have some and things. And you want to you, uh, you want to see if there's something available. There is there's stuff available which yeah. is really cool. And we're gonna uh, post this painting up in like a little bit if you like it. And um, that's it. So, so thank you everyone for thank joining you guys. Us. We'll see you tomorrow.